followers and building a fan base you get it through being vulnerable and authenticity and that's why you have such a big fan base i have my entire family around me in my same neighborhood now that's my fuel tank i've got my uh, my amigos my compadres my partners here i've got sheldino and sheldon the sniper entrepreneur crypto guru and educator in the space i got my friends over and I would give them basic salaries. They all started destroying themselves. Sheldon is one of the most popular figures in the crypto space and is dedicated to teaching others about crypto. Those last few hours, he was driving back to his house. What was he thinking? He must have been so hurt. My dad committed suicide. That for me was the, the hardest point ever in my life. The moment that he left, all of a sudden I became rich. I believe that they, they're with you in the strongest sort of form. Shit, man, you threw me off with that. Damn. Yeah, but this is your... It, what, does it feel you? I love it. You love it. I love as it. As long as that's what you need, bro. Yeah. I had the similar thing when I had to... Because I'm from Johannesburg. Yeah. And when I met Ran, I also I had to go to Cape Town. Also, I knew absolutely no one. Yeah. I had to move there one man. Yeah. I had to also fit in, like, somehow. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, we obviously had to then uh, start off the shows and I uh, and had zero experience. I've never had any of these things. And uh, yeah. we just sort of wrote it. And we obviously had the last bull markets yeah. where we hit the wave pretty fast. Yeah, For me, it's because Ryan had to show me how to open up a Twitter account. Wow. So I had to open up a Twitter. And then uh, I think my first week I had 10K followers. And then my first month I had 100K. Wow. And then my first six months I went to 300K. And it's just like, and I had no idea what was going on. The only thing that I saw was Firstly, I, I, I always had my passion. I always wanted to teach. So I just came in and I just like, guys, this works for me right now. And I just started teaching it. But I just took the number seriously. Whenever I saw the number on the top left, the live count number of sure. people watching and stuff, I'm just quite competitive to myself. And I just yeah. like always beating my number previously. Yeah. And just by having that little mindset mm. of that, it just went and went and went until we went to a Miami event and we had 5,000 fans in person and the moment i realized that that number is real i'm like yeah. when you see that amount of people in front of you you're like what the hell is wow. this like it's it was insane bro so i was so innocent i literally just paid attention to the numbers yeah. on the side and i automatically feel if those numbers are going up i'm doing good mm. these things are this and that's how i literally monitor myself with that sort of mm. thing and uh and then i started to realize wow this is real bro and then i had to talk on stage and like and i was like What's going on? And uh, it's been the most incredible, what did I think we're three years in, bro? I think I'm three and a half yeah. years ever in on crypto. Yeah. We're three years in now with the shows and it's, uh, it's, I still, I'm still not used to it, to be honest. Really? No. Nah. Because you're so natural though. Because people like, I know, and yeah, natural, I think that's, the weird thing about that is I never prep. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> I've never prepped for a show. Yeah. But Maybe 10, 15 minutes. That I allowed my natural ability, the moment that that's, You'll see me every single show that I do. I, I'm gonna throw up before. No one can talk to me ten minutes before I go live, yeah, just because I'm so nervous. Because I never know how it's gonna go. But the moment that that button, that that live ticker, just goes off, like somehow you just switch into this version sure. of yourself. Sure. And uh, and I don't know. You get comfortable. And what I also learned was I just talk to myself in the camera. So when I'm yeah. literally saying there. Stop last and learn these things. I'm literally talking to Sheldon. Yeah. That, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I'm yeah. literally talking yeah. to myself and they feel that. And that's uh -huh. what creates that whole like, uh, so that's why you got the passion because yeah. I'm so passionate about myself and I'm trying to remind myself, don't mess this up. Yeah. Think, you know what I mean? Learn from what just happened, th th these things. And um, yeah, bro, it's just a, Damn. it's such a good way to, yeah. to look at these things and to trust yourself too. I think people are very scared to take those jumps, but it's, I trust your intuition, bro. Yeah. Trust your natural talents. I didn't study for this shit. I'm actually very yeah. bad. Like I've never equipped myself ever for this stuff. Yeah. But I've done it pretty okay in the space, and it's uh, it's fun, bro. And it's just a uh, you you start to realize the power of yourself, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Man, well done. I mean, look, here's the thing, right? The thing about the thing I like about you is, um, you know, a lot of people set up like uh, Instagram channels and stuff like that, and they do all the flexing, right? Mm. And it doesn't, you know, I read a study where it says somebody told me that uh, followers and building a fan base, you get it through being vulnerable and authenticity. Mm. Authenticity was the word, right? Mm. Being like the, 
I'm, I'm, you know, I've got this car, I've got that car, I've got this watch, I've got that watch. That doesn't come across mm. to people, right? Like, I watch rap battles right now. Do you, do you like rap? Do you listen to rap? Mm, mm. There's like a rap battle going on right now, right? Yeah. Drake and yeah, yeah, Ross yeah, yeah. and that. about it, right? about it, yeah. And the thing is, nobody can fucking relate to anything they're saying, right? Exactly, it's like, bro. oh, you rap your, your plane, there's a timeshare, so somebody else is going to play it, has to take the rap off. And like, 99% of the people listening can't relate. Mm. We're going to be like, mm. we don't have a plane to rap mm. it, right? Mm. So... Um, what I what I think shot you up, I mean, it's Crypto Week. I've had people here that wanted to come on the podcast just from going on the events. And I've, I haven't done a podcast with anybody for like two weeks, right? And it's been Crypto Week. And I just, I I had my eyes on you uh, and I reached yeah, out I to you, it, bro. right? Yeah, you did. You but did, you because did. you're genuine and it comes across like that. And that's why you have such a big fan base because mm -hmm. you're not prepared. Bro, it's exactly that. You know, for me, again, I am better than no one, bro. Yeah. I'm just a guy that's 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 not afraid to, you know, what blew me up? It was the first day I cried on camera. Mm. First day I cried on camera and I shared what losing my dad felt like, mm. what I shared, what I'm fighting for, what I shared, what I'm trying to do, was the moment that everything blew up for me. Mm. And it just showed me the truth of like, you know, everyone's trying to make this persona and these sort of things and... I literally just had to, to show the truth, right? Yeah. And I probably cried 20, 30 times on camera. Yeah. And and you know what, bro? Like, I, I've never, you know what's crazy? In the last three years, I've maybe cried once or twice off camera. <laughs> that's the crazy thing. Literally. Yeah. I literally put myself out there so much to the point where yeah. that's where I'm going to share my emotion. That's yeah. where I'm going to go into this place yeah. where a lot of people don't know how to. And you know what? The reason why is we're all these macho people and even when I'm in my own head, I know I gotta be strong. Yeah. But the moment that that camera goes and the moment that we're on there, it's like, it's it's not, it, it pushes me to do it. It yeah. pushes me, it gives me that sense of like, go to that place. Yeah. Go to that, and when you go to that place, you know, uh, that's where the connection actually happens with these things. And yeah. I struggle with the flexing. Like for me, it was the sense of the first three years, I did the only thing where I spent my money Bringing my brother to Cape Town, bringing my mother, getting them a place, bringing my my grands there now, my cousins are there now, my best friends there, my next best friends moving there in the next two months. Uh, I have my entire family around me in my same neighborhood now. Wow, that are next to me, and that's where my money's gone. Incredible. That's my flex. I will flex about that every single day. Incredible. I have my mother next to me now. Incredible. I have these, my brother. and they the ones that are next Love to me that. on every show. They the ones that I will flex forever because that's my my fuel tank. That's how I know I will be okay. That's how I know I will get through and why I can achieve anything because I have that beside me. And that's one thing you'll see with me. This is one of the only times you'll ever see me alone. If you ever see Sheldon Sniper, you will see Craig, you will see my brother, and you'll see it. Maybe three, four people yeah. that are with me every single time. Yeah. Are they here? Yeah, they're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Um, of course they're here. They're, yeah. They will never, that's it. They are with me every single time because, you know, entering this business world it was actually a little bit of um it actually sucked because you have this reality of achieving your dreams and when you make money it's going to be amazing and these things like it's actually an ugly game the moment you got there people just wanted me like they just like they never saw that they just saw dollar signs they never saw the heart in me they just saw we can make money on this guy and this whatever and i started to realize like what the hell is this is this fame is this money is this like so when I stayed in my penthouse alone, yeah, and I had no one there, and I yeah. stayed into all these things, I was like, was this really it? Was this yeah. the dreaming? And that's when it switched me. Luckily, in probably the first three months, it switched me to the point of stick to your goal. Your yeah. goal is to have your family. Your goal is to inspire. Your goal is to chain, break the chains. And that has been my my main <clears throat> flex. And to be honest, this is probably first. I, I bought three suits here, and it's the only suits I've ever bought. In Dubai, you bought three. other than my wedding suits. Okay. No, not in Dubai, but oh, I got this made sure. for me just before I came. And I thought, let okay. me just try and just feel, not to flex, but one thing I realized about this is it's just like the looking after yourself and the way you present yourself and these sort of things is important. As long as you're doing it for that, you're doing it for that sort of sense and not for what people think yeah. and, and all these sort of things. Um, and that's played a really good role for me as well, just to, you know, it gives me that confidence, makes me feel good as well, but it's for the right reason. And, and that's what I... If you can do things for the right reason, you got sustainability to do it forever, bro. Mm. And that's a big thing. Otherwise, these waves and the flexing and stuff, bro. Yeah. It passes. It's so empty. Yeah. Empty. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Listen, 
there is nothing in the mall that will make you happy in five years time exactly nothing exactly it's so <laughs> true bro it's um, so it's so true bro yeah and i realized this because when i started helping i had a little bit of time when with banter and i started my i tried to do my motivational side and started my channel and i started bringing over my family and then banter we went through the bear and i had to build sniper school and i had to build this and i got like super busy right so what did i do i got my friends over and I would give them basic salaries. I'd give them stuff and I'd give them money, right? Not a lot of money, but what they needed. And what actually happened is they all started destroying themselves. They all literally started like mentally going to a place where they were absolutely, I took away every single problem that they've had for their entire life and it actually made them go down. And that for me was like this, what the hell? The moment that I was there with them and just helping them with them and the moment that I was present with them is when they went up. So it's this whole sense of this money thing is cool, but it's like it actually did nothing. It actually took them down so much, which surprised me because everyone fights. You know, people are struggling to find financials out there. But if I give you those finances tomorrow, you actually blow yourself up. You don't even know because what are you fighting for? What are you? What, what is your passion behind these things? So like you said, nothing in the mall. I tried that side. I thought that it would just take away. It wasn't, but all they ever wanted was just me, right? All they ever wanted was just to be there with me and just to be a part of me. And uh, that's again, is the, is the passion, bro. It, that, that's why, what is it? Like 90% of people that win the lotto end up like losing it all, mm. right? Mm. If you give them money to, when, when you say your, your friends um, started losing themselves, mental health issues that we're talking about yeah they start doing a lot of like smoking a lot of weed like was it like that exactly so yeah. a lot of weed and also like they stop growing yeah they stop pushing yeah stop the you know what i mean so you basically took away their problems and this was one of the hardest realizations for me mm -hmm. because my first two years of success i thought i was actually helping them mm. and we know i'm generally we know where i come from and, and what i'm trying to get out there but i was actually destroying them mm which was so hard for me to realize and to concept. And the only reason I was doing that is because end of the day, I was the only one bringing in money for the entire family, mm -hmm. right? I'm the only one that, that, that provides in that sort of sense, which means I gotta be very busy to do that. I gotta be the one in the office. I gotta be the one grinding, which means I physically couldn't be there for them anymore. And I couldn't spend a lot of time with them. So I was still trying to, I thought I was doing good. I thought I was like, you know what, Sheldon, it doesn't matter, dude, keep getting to your office every day because your family's eating, your family's good family are doing well to find out that um, by me taking away their not their pride but by me just handing it and giving it to them it was actually starting to really affect them and I wasn't allowing them to to grow into the I don't know their, their potential and to give them the power and them and these sort of things and they stopped working on themselves and they stopped doing all these sort of things um, which now today I still do the same thing but now I'm way more present and I spend way more time and you know, teaching them how to do it. I got my little brother here. He goes through a crazy journey of ups and downs. His big brother just became this. Yeah. Like, you, how do you live? You live under his shadow, what it is. And I saw him go through like a very down, even though I took all his problems away. Yeah. And he's a he's a 20 year old staying in a, in a beautiful apartment in Cape Town. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, he's got the life, right? The life that, not the crazy, but the life to really start something. And it was, it just wasn't getting going yeah. all that while. And um, that's why when we're on these trips and stuff like that, now it's back to what it is. And I just need to teach them and be with them and help them with that. And now he's starting to build his own things and he's struggling and it's great because he's growing, he's getting up now, he's pushing, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's been crazy, bro. With struggling comes building confidence. Exactly. Right. So you got to let him struggle. Exactly. You got to let him struggle. You got to let him learn. You got to do that. That's what, listen. Trauma is good for men, mm. right? Mm. It's not good for women because it masculinizes women, but for men, it's necessary, mm. right? Like yeah, you need to go trauma, good. You go through it, good. Andrew mm. Tate always says, you got, you, you're depressed, good. Andrew Tate goes, if you're depressed and you want to kill yourself, uh, go get a six pack first. Get a six pack first. And then afterwards, if you still want to kill yourself, I'll help you kill yourself. Mm. But get a six pack first and then come tell me because so, people message you all the time. So true. Saying that. No, dude, it's literally that. It's that uh, yeah. you, the only difference though is you, when you're in that stage, you know, so I'm a chartist, right? Mm. And uh, my whole, my, everything's been reading the emotion on the chart. And what I started doing was I started charting my life. I started charting my emotions yeah. and, I, and I started to see the exact same patterns. I started to see that in, in healthiness of success, you got a pump 
Yeah. And you got to go sideways. Got to form a flag. You got to reset the RSRs. Then you pump again. Can't just pump, 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 pump. No. no. So what it taught me was there's a time when my money is pumping. Then there's a time when my money needs to chill and my mental health needs to pump now. Then when my mental health needs to chill a little bit, then my emotions need to pump now. And if I can keep the balance, knowing when this one needs to relax a little bit because it's healthy to relax, it's healthy to, everyone wants to just this, which I agree, but on a different topic, right? So when I knew, okay, this one needs to chill now, but I can pump this one. And if this one goes, then I need to chill, then I can move that. And I can literally focus on the aspects of when I was starting to maybe lose focus with my family yeah. or not looking after myself or not doing these sort of things. I would pick it up through these charts and understand that you're never going to have all of them go up at once. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Sometimes that is healthy for one to relax. Everyone just feels like they need to. No. If you read a chart, why is Bitcoin done well? Because it has four-year cycles. That's why it's done well. There's times where Bitcoin needs to pump. There's times where it needs to dump. And there's times where it needs to go sideways. And that's why over time you will see this, 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 this. God. That's sustainability. God, yeah. That's success. That, that's how you should be great. Where everyone thinks it should just be this rocket. Rocket yeah. is a pump and dump. Yeah. The faster you go up with any waves to the side, it's fast, as fast, fast as you crash. Exactly. And that's the big, big, big thing that I've learned. So I'm going for a long, sustainable life. I'm going for, you know what I mean, the, these charts over time and all of them. And you know what's crazy, bro? You can literally take a, a pen and paper and you can literally go chart every aspect of your life. Yeah. You can chart your emotions, yeah. your mental health, your physical health, yeah. everything you can literally chart it. And I know this because I have a friend, and I'm not going to say his name. Ram. No. I, <laughs> I have a friend, right, that in the hardest time of his life, of nearly losing a close one, okay, he needed, a, he needed finances to save someone close to him, okay, because they were sick or something happened, and he had to sell his business, he had to sell everything, and... That's how he actually got into Bitcoin. He had a little bit of money left and he got into Bitcoin, I think 2016 or 2017. And Bitcoin went up in that time. And he got to a point that there was one dose of medicine he had to pay for his daughter to survive this thing. And he nearly couldn't pay it. And imagine not having the money to, to possibly save your, your daughter's life, right? To have that sort of thing. So what I did was I started to chart that whole journey. And what happened was a few years later, he's been with me forever. His financials changed, right? Everything changed. But his obsession that day to money, he, he, he never ever wanted to feel like that again. So he became obsessed. He became um, addicted to money. And the day that I told him why he's addicted to money, because this is the moment that this happened and you did this, um, you never want to feel again. You, you, you created this addiction to money. And I said, bro, if you don't stop on this now, because I started taking his mental health and his, uh, his other charts, and I said, dude, your mental, your one has dropped down and it's making a flag. Your, your money has gone up like this. I said, if this thing doesn't chill and you don't reverse this over here, this one's about to break down to the same levels that you were when your daughter was, 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 was sick. And you know what happened? He stopped on the, he literally just stopped on the money. We, week later, they found out that his partner has cancer. So if he never, if he never stopped the money and he never chilled and he went and continued to that thing, he was at a point of not being with the person that he needed to be at that time. And he never, like, it was insane, bro, wow. to go back and see it. And the day he realized it and he saw that, he could finally, like, he never knew. He never knew that because he'll make so much money, he doesn't sell. And he does this, and he does it, that. And then he will make money, but he must trade today. And these things must happen. It's like, bro, what it is. But the moment he realized the source of it, it just changed everything. It's incredible, bro. I'm so impressed with you. I'm so impressed <laughs> with you because honestly, you've, you, you've, been able to take this, you're your chartist, like you said, and you've taken this charting and you've applied it to real life. And and when you said that, yeah. I have thought about it recently because not recently, but you know, I've been going through a lot of highs lately and I'm and I'm suspicious. Mm. With a lot of highs in life, I'm suspicious. Mm. I'm like, mm. okay, we need to consolidate, right? Mm. We need to, and like in like a lot of highs is almost like you're state you're stealing the future's happiness. Mm. Right? True. So you're, you're kind of blowing off top. And do, doesn't it feel weird? Doesn't it like the higher you go too quickly, like you actually, I wouldn't say you, start, you stop enjoying it, but you start, you start feeling like you don't deserve it or you start like, I don't know what it is, but the, the quicker it goes, that's why you even said I have to consolidate. Like to, for someone to acknowledge that, 
is so important. Right? Yeah. It's okay to consolidate. But yeah. you know what? You can bump somewhere else. Yeah. It's somewhere else. If you want to focus it over here, yeah. it's just about the balance of moving them. Yeah. And this is where my this is where honestly my journey goes next. I want to teach people this. Like I believe charting came into my life for a reason and it wasn't for crypto. But I could trade exactly. I, I can trade coins and stuff like that. To be honest, that was easy, bro. That was the easy it was the other shit. It was the balance of my brain, the balance of what I'm doing. And after crypto, I'm going to this. I want to be a motivational talker. Wow. I want to teach them. I got a book that's coming. Uh, life's a chart. Yeah. Teaching people that if you're ever down in your life, it can literally just open up a piece of paper. You can look, it. just look at data and the data will tell you the truth. Yeah. And that was one thing that I always loved about charting was it told me the truth. doesn't matter how much I tried to prove that it wasn't. It just told me the truth. And the moment we know the truth, we're actually okay. Yeah. We start to like, ah, oh, okay, yeah. some reason. It's the unknown that terrifies yeah. us. Why am I thinking like this? Why am I overthinking? There's something wrong with me. Yeah. There's something that, no, maybe there's going to be in balance of what's happening yeah. at the moment. And then people start to realize like, holy shit, okay. Because yeah. you should have seen my charts a couple of uh, you know years ago. Sure. And you should see how amazing they converted. And then you should have seen my charts three months ago, how bad they were again. Yeah like the imbalance right these sort of things and uh it's it just shows you what you need to see and we have to respect that truth is everything bro. you can look at truth and just be like wow like yeah. thank you thank you for telling me that and the moment that i have people have that you can start working you can start taking step by step sure. and it changes so quick uh, have you told people that this is your next step or no this is the first time you're saying it yeah so there's been little hints but this is the first uh this is the first time Dude, I want to go on stage and I want to take him to another level. Yeah. If you want to know how I just did in three years, and like that was very simple. Yeah. I, I literally, what I learned in three months in crypto is the same techniques I use today. You can yeah. see the same thing that you saw Sheldon in, it's the exact same Sheldon today. Yeah. So I, already, like, I already nailed that thing. Now I'm ready for the next. next. Now I want to really make an impact and I really want to help people to that point. And I feel that this, this book, this style, I think it's going to, dude, I literally just yeah. feel it's going to, yeah, so many people. Because like I was gonna tell you this, I've podcasted with eighty people. I have yeah. podcasted with the yogis that do what you do, right? Like they, they I had podcasts with him. The one podcast that I had that changed the way I thought was Master Shri. He's called Yogi with a Lamborghini. He uses yeah. Lamborghini as a tool to get the attention, but he teaches people everything we've been talking about. And he, he on the day we're supposed to do a podcast, he jumps on a plane and he goes to Taiwan. I messaged him. He's like, oh, sorry, got to go. I'll be back next week. We'll do the podcast. Lands in Taiwan, thousands of people is signing, 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 right? I've met the top of the elite of people that do, and you definitely got a talent for this, and, and that's the clear path for you. And I don't feel like you are... Thank you, bro. I, I, I don't feel like you are swerving out of your lane to get something, because when you go out of your lane to get something that God doesn't want for you, mm. um, God will take away from you. Mm. But if mm. you... But if you stay in your lane and you accept everything God gives you, no man can take away from you. Mm. So it doesn't, it, it actually doesn't, it seems like it was just, it was a path that was the perfect for you. You're not swerving out of your lane. This is perfect. You, you want to know the truth about it though. I, I honestly am a believer of this, that all of our paths are already laid. Yeah. Like we're the ones that go off of it. We're the ones that go this way, yeah. you know, that. Because yeah, correct. If, if you're going to think back to many big things that happened in your life, like the big trauma events, you know, like when my dad happened, like you should have seen my charts then, right? Yeah. But what you got to understand is in order to go up again, you need to capitulate. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. So what it taught me was I can't control those big devastating moments that happen in your life and you'll get them in the future. But I also know that those are the turning points and those are the points where if you look at a chart, you want to drop, you want to get bought up, pin bar candle and you reverse. Mm. So, and what also usually happens before you dump is it actually starts off slow. So if you ever watch candles and whenever you watch a real market crash, it starts off a little bit, little bit, little bit, boom. So it comes in, so it comes a little bit, little bit, little bit. And that's where it weakens you a little bit. Yeah. Weakens until the big one comes. <laughs> and um, I've learned to, I can't control those, but end of the day, I know what candles forming now. So, so I literally, I, and I, you know what's nice about that? I give myself a, a break. It's like, you're capitulating right now, Sheldon. Like, yeah. Everything's going wrong, dude. Yeah. It's going wrong to such a point. Yeah. But yeah. you know, this is the turning point, right? Yeah. So right now you can't do anything. Yeah. But a real sustainable bounce is when something crashes, goes sideways, and then recovers again. Okay? So all that it means is do nothing right now. Yeah. You've crashed now. You're crashing. Yeah. Just 
you need to consolidate. Let to it just control a little bit. Yeah. Then you start to ride yeah. and then you start to do this thing. So yeah. for me, like you're saying, it's my path. Like I didn't know it was my path, but I definitely knew that that teaching and helping people was yeah. the only thing that gave me fuel. Because when I had the penthouse and I had the money and I had these things, like I was empty. I was literally smoking weed too every night and I was doing whatever I can to just not be with Sheldon anymore. Any time that I had free, if it wasn't on the show, I'd literally be smoking, mm -hmm. not drinking so much, but just smoking a little bit of weed because it just, it shut it off. And I, why? Because I didn't want to be with Sheldon anymore. I didn't want to be with Sheldon. And uh, I first had to find out what fuels me, what drives me. And then I started to realize like, holy shit, this is my path. You know what I mean? Like, just go with it, Sheldon. And that's why when, when we're doing this today, just go with it, bro. Because this is your new chapter. You don't know where it goes. You yeah. have no idea. It feels no. uncomfortable. It feels this. You have, you have no idea. Yeah. But it's uh, your, your road is path, yeah. and this could be maybe the start of my entire journey yeah. that I've been waiting to do for so long. Because you know what? With crypto, I'm bored, bro. Really? I love helping people. Okay. And that's why I built a school and yeah. built stuff. But yeah. I am bored. Yeah. Like, I want to do the real shit. I want to move on to the next things. Yeah. My charts are telling me too. Yeah, because money doesn't fulfill you. Oh, it's gone up. Awesome. But have I helped anyone? Have I made a difference? Exactly. Right? Because exactly. that's what gives you fulfillment. Are you, are you religious? So, from, so Christian side is being brought up in that sort of side. Okay. Um, I never not detached from it. Sure. The only problem that I had with myself when I was super religious was I kept giving my problems and my power to my God, right? Which never taught me the power within me. Uh -huh. So I like, God will save me. God will give me what I need to do. God will give me this. And I actually ended up doing the ayahuasca trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if you ever Wait, heard. Costa Rica? Uh, no, I did it in Cape Town because we've got very spiritual land there. Oh, so and, they, do uh, they do it there. Okay. It's incredible. Did they tie you down? No, no, no. no. Oh. We got into like this chamber room with six of us. Yeah. Uh, the mattresses, the shamans, the yeah. entire, entire thing. Yeah. It was did about a three-day retreat. Yeah. Heard yeah. Many times. Yeah. I had to go fight my, what happened to my dad. I had to yeah. go find out the truth for it and how it does the same thing to me and show me how I died and how my brother dies and if we follow the same thing and uh sure. it's over time i started dipping my toes into spirituality sure and the only thing that i loved between the two was dude there's 100 percent of god there's 100 yeah, percent beauty of what creates yeah of the only thing is god's already laid your path god's already given you every tool that you need so by sitting and saying god's gonna save me and god's gonna this you're not empowering yourself that was the only problem that I had was I was actually never empowering myself. I was always waiting for God to save me. Or I was always waiting for God to do these sort of things. So I started to merge the two where spirituality taught me the power within me. Mm. And that's why I can impact people on the camera mm. and that passion because that's yeah. me, bro. God already gave me that. So I can't sit there and wait for like and ask him to give me that. Like yeah. he's giving me every tool. So you also your own God, bro. You're also your yes. own person. You, you, you have the strength, you have yeah. the power. Not no. God. God gave you everything. You got everything that you need. Correct. You need to know that you have the power where a lot of people wait. They wait for change or wait to yeah. be saved or wait to be that. Like by doing that, you just, you in my honest opinion, you're not using the tools that God gave you. Like you're not, you're not using, because why? The moment that I stepped into power, that Sheldon Strong, dude, there's no one like me, bro. On this entire planet to my age, I'm still figuring out the game, right? But there's not a single person out there on this planet that is like me that can touch a human I can talk truth to a human like me. Yeah. And that's my power. Yeah. And God gave me that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. And I had to find that through myself. So, Love um, yeah, dude. So it's amazing. So, yes, I got the Christian side as well, but I also got a very, very powerful. I don't, it's actually weird. People don't know that side of me. Like, I have spiritual recharges every week, like where I lay down, channel slightly, and I go into my higher power for a while. I leave the, I leave the body. If they, mm. what they, not, not a normal meditation mm. in a sense of uh, I connect with me on a different level. Um, and then I have my, my uh, religious sides too. You know what I mean? I have the balance of both. But once a week, I have that charge of yeah. going to myself again, going to my own power again, going to these things. And that's what's created my success, bro. So power is within us, bro. The, there's a few things uh, I want to say about that. You know, the, the first thing when I asked about religion is, uh, you know, uh, the reason why I say that is because you, you said something very interesting where I went to a Christian school and it, and in the Bible it said, uh, if a man is a carpenter, he must be a carpenter. If a man is a salesman, he must be a salesman. Through what 
God has put him on this earth to do, will the blessings come? Mm. So if your mm. blessing, if your calling is to help people through that, more blessings will come. Mm -hmm. And it's a sin for you to not do what God has created you to do on this mm -hmm. earth. And that's when you block your blessings, right? So exactly when your calling is that, and through it will come, uh, exactly that. Mm -hmm. The other thing, if you've read the book, uh, Paul, uh, The Alchemist, the Paulo Coelho, have you read that book? Mm -hmm. Definitely you should read it. He I'll says, read it, I'll read it. He says, we're all our own gods, right? And Master Sri said to me, um, I said to him, you know what, you, you, you preach visualization, but what's the point of visualizing if everything's already pre-written? Mm. He said, your destiny isn't written, destinies are written. So you are walking down a road, there's a door on your left, there's a door on your right, there's a further door further down on your left, whatever. You choose which door you go down, but what happens when you go through that door has already been pre-written. Mm -hmm. So you opening the door to crypto, this is the journey that was written. Me opening the door to moving to Dubai, the journey has been pre-written, right? Exactly. So you're your own God where you choose your own destiny, but the destiny is already written. Exactly. And uh, the only scary thing about opening that door is the unknown, right? So it's yeah. like, you, it's, it's a, I like to call it price discovery, a place you've never been before, a place that, yeah. that you've never experienced before, which is scary. But like you said, the moment you open that door and you know that you're opening that door, yeah. Remember, I can always come back to my road. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with me opening a door, yeah. knowing where my original road is. But the moment I open it, all of a sudden, it just works out. Yeah. And something happens and something does. And you learn to trust it, bro. You learn to trust not only the power in you, but you learn to trust the road. Yeah. You learn to yeah. trust to, to go through Correct. that. Um, and sometimes I even go down the wrong road. Mm. I remember the time with weed. And I, um, Have you quit weed? Yeah, I don't know. Now and then, maybe once a week on a weekend. Because that was my problem. Because I don't earlier. drink. I, I don't yeah. drink so much. I drink now and then a little bit. But for me, it was uh, um, now once a week in that control. And then there's times where five times a week. Yeah. Easily. And this, would, well, this was two months ago, yeah. right? That, that was only my problem was. Really, by the way. 12 years every day. Really? Moves here, no more. The guy cut it. Clean it. And yeah. I think that's my next chapter too, definitely, that that's sort of clean. But there's a time where I can see myself Holy shit, Sheldon, like it's taking you again, right? And I'll be like, you know what? Let's go down this road. Let's go. Knowing I'm going down this road. And the moment you know that, I went down that road and I felt ugly. And I'm like, you see why you don't do this road? Okay, cool. Let's go back. Let's go get, let's get back to business. So I will send myself yeah. down a road yeah, yeah. But that's deliberately. How, yeah, that's how addiction happens, by the way, because people get addicted to feeling like they're ugly. Exactly. Right? Because it's a feeling. Exactly. There's a line, you feel good about yourself or you feel bad about yourself, exactly. right? But guess what? You'd rather feel something than be on the line and not feel anything. Exactly. So you choose whether you feel good or you feel bad. People get addicted to feeling bad. Exactly. And you'd rather feel bad than feel nothing because you feel alive. Exactly. And you know what? What I got really good at was I got... It's like a mental snap, like a picture that I take, a mental picture when I go down these roads. Yeah. And I take what I do and I look at my charts and I'm like, I see how do I react to family? How do I react to this? Like, and I go down those roads, bro, and I take it in and I actually see what I become, yeah. what it does to me. What the, you know, people don't see, they, they just feel it and they just end it in that sort of sense. Like, it's okay to go down these roads. Yeah. Now, the crazy roads you don't want to go down. And I think... That's why my dad had to go down those roads so that I never, like, I've never done drugs, right? That, the weed and mushrooms was that, and I've yeah. done ayahuasca once. Yeah. But I've never touched another single drug in my life. Wow. Nothing. Okay. Nothing at all. Yeah. You know, cause he went down those roads. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, I got to see... Uh, me too, actually. Yeah. Just yeah. weed and mushrooms. Really, yeah? Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, for me, it's... Uh, weed's the lighter one, it's cool, but it does do long-term damage. Like, it does... like alcohol. Yeah. It, it is... You go to it you go to treat it like alcohol, it you know what I mean? Because you can do more. Are you spiritual? Alcohol. Yeah, spiritual. Yeah, of so course. you you'll see that. So alcohol is the worst, bro. Oh, That's, the spiritual disconnector. Alcohol. You disconnect your relationship with God, literally, bro. Yeah. And every power that you have in you, like yeah, God. That that's God. gone, bro. It's yeah. uh, I still can't believe it's even legal. Like I really yeah. at that point. Um, I know. I, I literally. Uh, weed does disconnect. All right, stop, stop, Shaq. Back a little bit, Shaq. Back. Hi, how are you? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, you know Sheldon? How are you guys? You're good. Hello, hello, hello. You know Manny Pacquiao? He's, he's Manny Pacquiao's manager. <laughs> That's me. You know what Sorry, man. Uh, what would you like, Jack? Water? No, Water? Okay, what would you like? Uh, double espresso, please, bro. Double espresso, no milk. No milk. You're an animal. No, well, okay. They've gone. They've gone telling their friends, look, look. look. Oh, hang on, dude. 
Sheldon, how are you? Sniper. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Sheldon the Sniper. Oh, huh? you don't know Sheldon? Yeah, yeah, Sheldon the Sniper. He's a crypto, cryptocurrency. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, you know, you know crypto banter. You know crypto banter. Crypto banter. Uh, he knows. He what? knows. He knows. He knows. You know, but you know Sheldon. <laughs> We got Sheldon in the house. Come on, guys. This is a big guest. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. So good. No, I'll get uh, Americano with a dash of milk. Just a little bit of milk. I like milk with my coffee, not coffee with my milk. Right? No, no, no. I'll get a small, uh, no, no, cop. I'll get a uh, small Americano with a dash of milk. And Sheldon will get a double espresso. Exactly. Thank Appreciate you. you. I've got a word for us here. Man, I gotta say, I uh, oh, that's, cool. that's cool, bro. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, very it's cool. very uh, it's very handy. Here you go, my brother. That I've been in this life, so but this stuff's still so near to me. I, You've I'm been like, in what? Oh, what? like I said, I've been in this. I don't know, high life sort of world, sure. stuff like that. But like, this stuff's still so great to me, just to see it all. Yeah. And, like, yeah, you know, man, it's uh, mm. look something that I realized is true luxury is comfortability, mm. bro. You gotta. You're going to get over a Lamborghini so quickly. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate you. <laughs> She's our biggest fan. Shame, man. Bro, that guy knew. That guy knew. Yeah, shame. You know? Oh, Very cool. So, actually, we should put these in the door here. <clears throat> yeah, the coffee's coming in here. Yeah. So, um, man, I've got to say, I'm really, really, really enjoying this podcast. Really enjoying this podcast. Too, like, I've got a whole... nice to not just talk about cool coins and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be able to talk, like... This is what kills me, bro. This, yeah. this is the end of the day. The, and that's what I feel by talking on the shows and stuff. You're seeing 10% of me, right? Yeah. This is the stuff. This is where you're going to start to understand yeah. where it's coming from. It's yeah, not way. to make money so easy, bro. Yeah. To do this stuff is so That's the stuff yeah. that you yeah. got to work on. Look what we're speaking about. Spiritual yeah. side, this side. Like These are the things that, that yeah. bring it all together. Together, yeah, of course. And look, the markets are emotional. So if you can have emotional intelligence like you've developed, you can you can control that. So what, what did I do? I knew the market was emotional, right? So yeah. Like what the size. So what I do? I went 100x leverage. I even 100x that. Wow. So let's go. Let's go to the deepest place that you can go. Wow. With your emotions, because there's no more emotion than that. Because we are so, especially then, especially in the beginning when you have no money at all. Yeah. That's your that's your god, right? That that's yeah. really what you want to chase and these sort of things. So that's why your emotions are so high because yeah. when you're making it, this whatever. Yeah. So I said, let's hundred exits. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, no, it's okay. Bye. Bye. Get free, me. Bye. Bye, guys. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, Sheldon. Well done. We'll see you soon. Sheldon the sniper. You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got burned. Sure. You heard me say warm. Yeah. You heard me say warm. They make a cold, huh? Yeah, it's cold. Oh, I know. Oh. Anyway, that's like, anyway, they're excited anyway, to see you, Sheldon. You know what I mean? And it's you. I don't know, man. I don't know if I was. Sorry, bro. Like, yeah, I don't. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now, let's get back into it. I'm going to tell you a theory which... I've been thinking about, but it could have nothing to do with anything, but I just want to see your reaction to it. Okay. You okay. When you have somebody that loves you and passes away, I find that blessing start for that person. And I feel like I've had that where I was somebody's favorite and they passed away. And ever since then, I've just been going up and everything's been happening perfectly for me. And sometimes, you know, I've got a friend whose mom died from uh, brain cancer. I've had, I've had my auntie die from cancer. And I always go, okay, let's see what happens to the kids. Mm. Because I feel like in that other life, that person is like, I'm going to take you under my wings. And I'm going to, you know, my friend, he, he's, his mom had brain cancer, passed away. And she always wanted him, for, him to travel. Mm. He's a personal trainer. Now he's a personal trainer for the wealthiest family in Dubai. And he travels the world and he trains them. And he's got an amazing life, right? Mm. Mm. Um, does that resonate with you? Do you feel that? Have you thought about that? Uh, very highly correct. So my, my entire, this was the crazy thing, right? So when I came out of school, like I had this vision 
So my mom had me when she was 15, 16 years old. My dad was 16, 17. So they had to obviously drop out of uh, school. Uh, school, never got to do any education. So like I worked at uh, clothing stores and like, you know, that was sort of our life for us. I always had this ambition when I came out of school, like I need to change this because we struggled with money for a very long time. And to see them fight over it and to see them stress over it and like, you know, it just like, it gave me this feel that I'm going to change it all, right? Mm -hmm. So I tried my best out of school. I tried to build my own businesses, uh, carpentry businesses, all these sort of things. Uh, they all failed at some point. So three of them failed in a row and they all failed at the same point. Okay. Self-sabotage is what I call it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I picked it up on the chart. Mm -hmm. I saw, I'm like, dude, you're literally rejecting the same level every time. Like yeah. it literally showed me every time I just sabotage myself. And then I started to be like, what do I do when I'm at that point to sabotage myself? And I got to the sense and then I started. So when I got into crypto, I got invited to this, this conference and it was like, buy this coin back by gold, whatever. So I got into it and started making me some short term money. And automatically I'm like, holy shit, like this can change my family's life, right? This is going to do everything. So what did I do? I closed, I, I sold my, my car, I closed everything and uh, I bought my dad these tokens, I bought my mom these tokens, I bought everything, right? And then the one day they, they, they froze the exchange um, completely. And my whole life, everything that I built in that parents that my parents did, my mom had nothing. And COVID was at that time too. My dad lived in a little room because my parents split up. Yeah. Uh, my dad literally lived in a little, I watched this man disintegrate to this point. And you know, it's, uh, um, when this all happened, like I, I put this fire in me, let me buy all them. So when everything froze, I was like, what the hell? Luckily I put a couple of hundred dollars into a Binance account because I wanted to maybe try Bitcoin. I never tried Bitcoin ever. Thank goodness. Because when they, when they exchange froze, I was left with like $400. Um, I just took on a house, uh, not a, I never bought a house, I just took on a rent in a house. And then what happened was my dad committed suicide. So when, obviously that for me was the, the hardest point ever in my life. Like what the hell, like, you know, these sort of things happen and it destroyed me, bro. And that's where I left the city and I started trading around hotel for hotel. I literally just traded my life every day. I need a coffee, I'll trade for coffee. And I learned that I can only get stuff if I, if I made it right, because if you never take money out your pocket, you'll be rich for life. And I, I, I learned these little things of doing that. And that's how I met Craig and then somehow met Ran by luck. He put me on the show and that's how that whole journey happened. But the moment my dad left, I worked for six years to try financially free my, my parents when I came out of school. And the moment that he left, all of a sudden I became rich. Mm -hmm. oh, the moment he left, my whole world turned around literally and it blew my mind for so long bro of like yeah. what the hell because it made me cry why is my dad not in this Maybach right now why did he never get to see this world he never even left the country i think he left ever once for a very small trip but he never got to see any of this he never got to see my cycle he never got anything but everything happened the moment he left and everything started working yeah. and it, everything started not that it was perfect what is that but what, what is that is it him? Is it him? Or it at one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because I've, I've I, I believe there is a higher power. Like, and you know what? Like he lives through me, through and like exactly. he's through me now. Exactly. And he's like, he. It's not that it changed anything physical in that point, but it it started to. At some point, I'm like, Dad, you here, bro? Mm. Like you here, dude? I I, I draw. You. And the moments like that would happen, like more things, and I would just feel the strength, and I would just feel. Cause end of the day. You know, I'm next in charge, right? My yeah. dad was the, the king of the family. And you're the oldest. Gone. I'm the oldest. Like, I got to save this family, bro. Yeah. I got to push through. But, dude, everything just worked when I trusted it. And the day, the day he left. Now, I don't want, you know, it's amazing, but I don't want people to, to have to die in order for you to, to, to see that power. But nonetheless, when they do die, you need to understand that they are there in a whole nother different yeah. world. Correct. And, and they are pulling so much more strings that Correct. they couldn't. You know why? Because... He's no longer addicted to drugs anymore. Yeah. He's no longer on steroids anymore. He's no longer drinking alcohol anymore. You have the purest version of the person that loved you forever that's now fighting for you. <clears throat> beer. Yeah. And the beerness, and I, I'll get jumping to something though, I don't know where then, but like we spoke to uh Go deep. Well, one of one of my one of my uh, ladies' friends is a medium, right? Okay. Okay, so when my dad started off, when he was like 16, 17, he was very skinny, like me, exactly like this, okay? But he had long hands, skinny, and then he got into this germ thing, and if you saw my dad with the time apart, like he was a tank, bro. Like oh. my dad was ripped, and I'm talking big. Like okay. he was he was really, really, really big to that point. 
And that was obviously filled with steroids, filled with a lot of things over time. And obviously you trained for a very long time to get there. But when we, when we spoke to the medium, we had my little daughter. My daughter would always look up and she would always look at a certain point in the room and certain times she would look up and things like that. And Ree's friend, the medium, she's like, there's this guy that's always now and then with Livy, with my daughter. He's like, he just pops in. He's got long hair. He's a skinny guy with long hair and all these sort of things. And we went back into it. And what she said was, when you die, like you get to choose your avatar at any point that you were in your life. So you can choose when you were 10, when you were 50, when you were like, whatever you want to look like, you can choose. Uh -huh. And he chose when he was 16 or 17 years old, before the, the drugs, before, because that was his old ego. Everything was that. Uh -huh. He chose that avatar to represent himself even though that in the real life, he chose to be this mushroom man, he chose to do this stuff. When it came to, okay, cool, now you're not on planets anymore. Mm. Now you're up in that space. What avatar are you choosing? He chose the purest point of his of, of thing before everything consumed him, mm. before everything, this sort of thing. And for me, dude, that was the power of like, they there in another way, and he chose purity. Therefore, I have the purest dad that I've ever had in my life with me right now. And why I can believe and why I can go down these roads is because he's with me on every single one of them and he's pure. Yeah. And that for me is a massive, massive, massive thing. It's, it's strength because he was yeah. a warrior, bro. Yeah. Like I was scared of no one. He said, if you intrude yourself, you intrude no one. Wow. Yeah, and, he, and he would fight a lot. But you know who he would fight? Bullies. The biggest guy in the club that's smacking the woman's asses, the, the, the macho man, he would knock them out. Never the weak guy, never the sweat of us. He would make a lot of shit and it would be, I'd, I'd have to get him out of, uh, many times out of jail and I'd have to get him out of that. But he always hit the right guy. I didn't realize that until he died because all the true colors came out. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of people around me that I was like, dad, why don't you like these people? Why don't you, the moment my dad died, those people were trying to get with his ex-wife. Wow. Or get with the, with the lady. So true color, the moment he left, everything that I thought was for so long, I'm like, dad, why are you doing these things? All the truth revealed the moment he was gone. And it's uh, it's incredible. So yes, dude, I believe that they, they're with you in the strongest sort of form. Um, and there's a lot of them too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, shit, man, you threw me off with that. Damn. Dude, it's insane, bro. And Ayahuasca, I got to go and see that. I got to go. That was the hardest thing for me to ever do, was to go see the truth of, of what happened to my dad. So we so strong you know, in our sense of our spiritual and what we are, that this, this planet can't kill us, right? It literally can't. In that sense, and what I mean by that is just like, we're warriors in, in that sense, and he was a warrior. The only thing that can kill him was himself. That's it, very simple. Nothing can kill him on this planet, because he tested every barrier that you could when it came to that. But what it did was it obviously hid through alcohol, through these things. So when I took this medicine and I was laying down and the representations were starting to come through, um, and the, the way it started was black and I just saw this little tentacle just pop on the corner like it's just a little tentacle and I'm like what is that and I'm like I see you what what are you and then it would show itself on the wood wall and then I'll be like are you the voice in my head are you the one that's that's making me this and it would show itself a little bit more and I said are, are you the one that that, that that makes me love like gets addicted to weed and it would show a little bit more and are you the one and everything, and then when I'd say something and it wouldn't move, then I know it's okay. It's not that. Then I said, okay, are you the one that started doing this? Are you the one that started that? And this thing would start showing itself more. And eventually it was this very big octopus, right? Wow. Very big. And that the, eventually I pulled this thing out and I was so angry because remember, I'm laying down, I'm gone, I'm out there now, right? I'm, I'm in that world, but I'm, I'm physical in that world. I'm there, I'm my, now I'm in my spirit. Like now I'm, I'm there and I'm angry. I'm like, what happened to my dad? Like. I need to know those stuff. And the more I was calling and I'm like, did you hide through the alcohol? Did you do this? And why it came through as an octopus was because an octopus is powerful when it's camouflaged. It is very powerful when it's, ex when, when it's seen. I uh, know it's very, um, very powerful when it's camouflaged, but very weak when it's seen. Mm. So the moment you see it, it's very weak. And why I know this is because eventually I built this thing up. And what I realized was this is my last three to 400 years of my family's chain. Because my whole entire, if you go look now, my entire dad's side of the family are all dead. Like we hardly have, like I'm the, I'm the, I'm the only one. Like if you go look at. What's the name? I, he, he has one cousin. One cousin, the rest are all gone. And what a name you've built. And they all, also there was suicides there. There was uh, killing each other. There was like so many things that killing happened. Killing each other. Literally, literally. I know there was someone on my dad's side where the, the, um, 
the uncle killed the aunt, then no, oh. the, the yeah, the uncle killed the aunt, then the son killed the dad, then the son killed himself, like crazy stuff, dude. And it was this whole thing of like, I watched how this octopus was literally camouflaged and how it was taking them one by one. And what it does is it slowly turns you against you over a good period of time until eventually you end yourself. Eventually it's to that point. But we had our two spirits looking at each other like this. And eventually I was angry and I'm like, and you're the one that took my dad. Like we were, it took me about three hours to get this thing to expose itself. And eventually we eye to eye. And this is just in the, in the ayahuasca world and thing. And eventually I, the two shamans were here and they saw this, this fight and they came in and, and jumped into my, my journey or whatever it is. And they blew tobacco on me and this thing blew up. Like this thing literally fucking, cause I finally knew what it was. I finally expunged you motherfucker. The one that's been taken for so long. Like I see you bro. And you know what I said as well? I said, I'm stronger than you. I said, I ain't scared of you bro. I was so angry for what happened. Like. This is me and you now. Come, you're so strong. Let's go. Let's go. Because now I've seen you. No one's ever seen you. And the moment I saw it, it was so weak, bro. I literally blew that thing up so fast. Wow. And so big. It hasn't been blown up for the last hundred or such a long period of time. Because it was finally seen and finally exposed. And I live with so much through that now of that, that octopus. It was such a big thing for me to understand. And because it, it showed how it does it to me too. This is why I loved weed. This is why I love these things. Why? Because it starts to, firstly, now we know we disconnect from our spiritual side. So the weaker you go from spiritual is the more vulnerable you are to, to start turning on yourself or to start, you know, doing these sort of things. Mm. But it showed me how it does it. It showed me how, how I die in the exact same way. And eventually Sheldon takes Sheldon out and eventually Dean takes Dean out and eventually this, whatever. But the moment you realize and you see it, it's actually weak. People think addiction is strong and this, no. You just don't understand what it's done. You don't understand what it's doing. The moment you understand it and you see it, it is weak. It is weak at anything and you can blow it up so damn fast. But the power of it is when you don't see it, that's when it's strong. That's where it can go through a generation. That's where it can take you, your son, their son. And that's why you can see there's chains in families. You could see how it gets passed down over a long period. And the, 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 the difference as well is it gets stronger. It gets bigger. The moment it takes that one, it's even bigger, it's even bigger, it's even bigger. Yeah. And it taught me lots, bro, because I'm a dad now. And I'm like, it was such a, sorry, this is big in the spirit. This is what I had to go chase, you know, not chase, but like, I just got invited to this ayahuasca thing to do it. But this is all the shit I had to go try to deal with, bro. People don't know this stuff. These are things that I had to literally go and understand. And because when, when I lost my dad, it, it, it shattered me. But uh, there's a whole nother world out there. We don't even realize it, bro. But it, at least it taught me and it made me finally see it. And the moment I saw it, I could finally get peace again. And I could finally understand that, holy shit, like, it's literally, it's weak. Now I can cog anything. Now I'm not afraid of anything, dude. Because I see you. If I see it, so I can see if you're either camouflaging or you're true. And the moment I see you, like, now I'm not scared of anything, mm. bro, on this planet. There's nothing that can scare me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm the same as you. Like, I don't freak out. I've got business partners that freak out. What if this happens? What if that happens? I'm like, man, God's at the wheel. Mm. Why are you freaking out? Mm. What do you know? Do I have a panic attack? Nothing's must scare you. You know what I mean? Just let it happen how it's supposed to happen. Mm. I want you to promise me something. Mm. Next time you come to Dubai, okay. let me know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to Master Shree's, uh class. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not class, but he does like this meditation thing. And he is the, he's a grand wizard. He's a grand master okay. when it comes to stuff. He, okay. he goes to Tibet. People invite him out and things like that. And he just, some of the things that he says to me, you need to hear. Okay. Um, and uh, I think it, like everything you're telling me, I'm like, man, I need to really, you guys need to meet each other. Really? Uh, yeah. He's very famous around the world. He's like, he's, oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. So when you're here next, let yeah. me know. I mean, you're leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When are you back? There's another conference. I think there's one happening in three months. I don't know which one. But there's another one here. Yeah. Okay. There's, I don't think it's as big as this one, but I think we're coming. Um, but then I am. I'm going to Singapore. I'm in Nashville now for the for the main Bitcoin one. Um, but to be honest, dude, it's it's such an easy flight. I could be here. And it's like not. It's not like going to the US or going especially yeah. in South Africa. We like. Yeah. Yeah. Same we time zone. Exactly. Kinda. Yeah. It's two hours. Two hours different. Yeah. Ten hour flights. Nine hour flights. Yeah. And I'm here. No stopovers. Yeah. No nothing. So I can be at any yeah. moment now. And I'd actually love to bring the wife and the the kids um, i'd love for you to bring them actually i, I want to take them um there's a lot of places i, I want to take how old's your daughter she's two she's two and a half now we've got to take her to global food that's her that's her there 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned to actually change yeah. the, the, the thoughts of my, my flaws and these things in my head. I've actually learned to love them because yeah. they've, if, they, if you don't have bad thoughts, you never better yourself. Mm. If you don't have anything like that, you never grow, mm. ever. Mm. You've got to learn to love it. You've got to learn to embrace it and see it in that sense. And yeah. it's information. It's information that popped up. You choose what you do with that information. But at the end of the day, if you don't get those little messages and those little signs and that negativity, you're never going to know where to first you focus on and you're never going to grow. Yeah. So I've used it as fuel. And there's times where it comes a bit hot and then it's like, yeah. hey, there's a, there's a big change I need to make. Yeah. So I, I, I determine it. If it's little bites, small changes. If it's big bites, that are just coming, coming. Like, why is it getting hard now? Like, yeah. you know, you're fighting with your wife and then you're also struggling and the market also crashes. Then this happens and you also get liquidated and everything's like happening yeah. at once. I know there's a big change that has to happen. Yeah. When it's small ones, it's small changes. Yeah. So it's information that you've got to learn to use yeah. and you've got to be grateful for it. Yeah. People yeah. get yeah. scared of it. They hate it. They think yeah. of them. they got a problem. Yeah. Guys, it's information that you can use yeah. to understand where to focus. And I think that's a, it's such a, you know, it's crazy, bro. Mm. This is another thing I want to want to quickly chat to you about is we everything we've been taught firstly we know is it's actually the opposite right okay so for example if you go through school yeah you start off with level one yeah you go to grade one grade two grade three grade four duh, duh, duh. so you start off easy and you go big mm-hmm. you know in life it's the other way right you know in life ah, the hardest right. level is step one you're right the entire of life like no one knows no one even thinks about it in the sense the hard think about someone that wants to make money in yeah. their life. Go ask them what was the, the hardest point to make money. It was the first million, okay? Always, every single time. So the, the, the systems or everything that we've thought yeah. is completely the opposite because what happens is the moment you make your first, the steps get smaller. Yeah. So the, the, the hardest step, the hardest level is level one. Yeah. Now, why do we get taught that level one should be the easiest? Because now what people don't know is level one's actually the hardest, okay? Now people start fighting with themselves and they're like, why, why am I not getting past this level? Why not? I'm, I'm not this, whatever. And they think that they're stupid and they think that, and they down themselves so much because people are getting through these levels and they not. And they, they, they start really thinking that there's something wrong with them and they get stuck in this trap, not knowing that guys, the biggest step is number one. The moment you get through number one, they just get smaller. That's why I watch my success now over the next few years. Like. The hardest one was the first one. Yeah. And the moment people see that, it will motivate them that the moment you get through the first one is when everything's going to start to flow. But it's it's so crazy how everything we see in this world is the complete opposite, yeah. bro. Yeah. And if people know that, people just need to know why, bro. Yeah. Why is it so hard to make money? Why is it so hard? Because the moment you get through that first one, Favorite. it all gets easy. Yeah. I have a chain of 12 gyms in Australia. Okay. Uh, owning one is more difficult than owning 12. Okay. Because when you have 12, you've got enough budget to have a general manager and a this manager. And he, she deals with this and he deals with this and the, that. And now it's all systemized. Mm-hmm. But when you have one, you don't have enough revenue to be able to pay other people to take care of the headaches. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what they say? More money, more problems. Mm-hmm. It's true. More money, more problems. But more money, the more money you have to pay people to deal with the problems, so really more money than the problem. It is more problems, but you can also pay people to deal with the problem. The only thing that I ever got from, from money was choice and freedom. Like, yeah. that was literally the only sense of it. Like, yeah. they say more money problems, that's your fault than, like, you creating the problems. Like, it shouldn't, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. The main thing is, yeah. when you have some money, or yeah. you get through some money, you have choice. Yeah. You have choice, and as long as I have choice, I can yeah. achieve anything. As long as I have that sort of base, like, if you're creating yeah. problems, that's your own, like, you're just yeah. not listening, or you're just, like, that's cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and a lot, I've known a lot of businessmen that are rich that do have that problem. They just never stop working, or they create it too much for them to do. They're addicted. And things, like, extreme. They're addicted to the world. They're, money and business that's like you think uh, alcohol addiction is bad like yeah. business addiction is like bad bro. Uh, they literally malfunction i've seen guys that if they don't do, do they're so rich they don't buy anything they don't even spend their money but yeah. if they're not making money or they lose do they start like yeah frothing by the mouth yeah it's like i say that there's two games in life you'll never win out women and money there's always going to be a pretty girl younger girl hotter girl mm-hmm. and there's always going to be someone that has more money mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so you just have to be content Mm. She makes me happy. I'm mm. happy with this much. I can see the kids on the weekend, whatever. Mm. Right? You have to be content mm. with that level because you can keep going, and you're gonna end up going nowhere. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Let's talk about money. Mm. Are you just like how old are you now? I'm 27. 27. You're just financially secure now, forever. I'm in a, I'm in a good place, definitely. I think I am at that point, especially this year. 
that like where we're going now, things are speeding up a lot. Everything's going crazy. Like yeah. yes to that point. Yeah. The only thing is my mission's a little bit bigger. So when I said it's, did I literally have nine houses in my name at the moment that, that none of them are mine. Incredible. That's my grand. That's my cousin. Like I said yeah. in the beginning, it's 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 actually not great. Again, like I was saying, like I'm providing in that sense, but. My mission's a little bit bigger because I'm I'm taking everyone with me, right? Mm -hmm. Taking my entire family, entire base with me. Incredible. So, you know, it basically means that my life, me and my daughter and my wife, yes, we, we, we're good for a long period of time. But if you've got a 10x that and I've got 10 more lives, like, then we've got a sort of thing. But money-wise, I'm doing well, bro. But, and I'm going to be a, a billionaire, like, I will, because I have this fire and these sort of things behind me. But again money is just freedom at all there'll be times where i'm going to make lots of money and there's times where money needs to chill and i yeah. don't need to make money yeah and that's okay like i don't need to keep going and prove anything to anyone as long as i'm with my family and long as things that, like, that's enough for you dude yeah. it's enough for me and over that again mm -hmm. i'm going to create sustained ability money for the rest of my life yeah. you'll see sheldon you'll go through this money yeah. and you'll chill then you go yeah, and you'll and and then then and then <laughs> so i am i am very blessed and okay. we've built a uh, we both, we were, one thing that I learned was we, we, we worked really hard in the bear market. Mm. Really hard in the bear market. That's when you make money. And holy shit, did that change everything. Yeah. Last time we worked in the bull market and it meant nothing. Like it was cool. And what that means is don't work when things are good. Like when, when things are good, enjoy it. Live in the moment, mm. be in the present. People try work when things are good. It's weird. Like yeah. when someone's feeling great, now they go to jump. Yeah. Now they go to no, like like that's the complete like yeah. opposite. The bear market was the hard work for me. Yeah. And the moment we did that, like, dude, it's, I'm literally making money every hour. Like now I sit every single then when I was every, all my efforts, I was making no money. Mm. Now, dude, every hour, money's coming in. Like, how how, how how are you dude, making money every hour right now? Because you're not trading, or is it just money from the channel? No, so so end of the day, what do we build school? We build school as a free product to the masses, to everyone. And all you gotta do, exchange link, cool. Oh, so yeah. as long as you use exchange link, Got, yeah. no problem. Now the thing is with and that you get a percentage of the trade. Exactly. We get yeah. a percentage of every time they transact. Every time they buy and sell Bitcoin, we get a percentage. Now and it they, sounds amazing, right? And Pain. it's benefit for them as well because they get a discount. They get a discount actually, but nonetheless it's not about that. Like end of the day, you as a as someone that you look up to and you wanna you wanna be a part of my business, right? You wanna do my school now. You wanna know how I measure myself is through your success. So if you are blowing yourself up in three months, I make zero money off of you. I make money for you for three months, but then I make no money after that. Okay? Because you're blowing yourself up. So what does that do? It keeps me caught every day to keep teaching and make real difference. Because if you're making money, I'm making money. If you're not making money, I'm not making money. And that's my model. That keeps me true to who I am every day and, and why I focus on changing lives and why I try to teach so much. People don't like being taught. They want to make it easy and stuff like that. So I've learned that only 10% or 20% of people um, are really going to, I wouldn't say make it, but those that are really, mm -hmm. you know, when times are hard and these, and I learned that I thought people were a lot stronger, but they're not. Yeah. They run so far when they lose or they, they run, bro. Yeah, They're yeah, so fr yeah, afraid yeah. of the unknown. Yeah. It's like, no, I need to go back yeah. to what I know. Like, yeah. the moment they go into the unknown, they're like, yeah. they get absolutely terrified. Well, it's and that, and also, I'll tell you something. I traded for a little bit, but I just can't. It doesn't make me happy. I, I, I can't sit in front of a computer all day. Exactly. I can't do exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Right? But now, what happens? So, me as a dude, I couldn't sit there and just read these charts and candles just to make money. Yeah. But when I started to, again, l look at life's charts, we look at how I used it in different ways. Like, dude, I literally chart my entire life now. Yeah. Like, literally, like, yeah. no coins, no yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like, look how I took it a step further. I realized that I have a tool that gives me access to emotion. Yeah. And I can start to study emotion. Not only can I study my own emotion, I can study the entire market's emotion. I can understand when people make these mistakes or when they make these jumps. I can see all the data, everything there. Yeah. So I'm using it for way more. Yeah. Way more. Got, yeah. I'm using it for this whole vision and understanding of human thinking. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? So it may just seem like that, but for me, it's like, it's different, bro. I, I'm, cool. I'm using it as a tool. And what I love about it again, it's honest. Honest, raw yeah. data, bro. Yeah. But you're, you're trading, right? You're trading. Yeah, yeah, I trade. I trade. I trade. You trade every day? Um... A lot, like now and then you'll see my accounts always, uh, like I, I closed my accounts a little bit earlier, but we're here. We, we, I'm always have my charts. Okay. You see over the last couple of days, uh, buy, sell, buy, sell, yeah. buy, sell. 
You know yeah. what I mean? Whenever I have a little bit of time, I'll take a quick scalp. Sure. And to be honest, it's when we uh, when we like uh, spending some cash or something. So if I know we're gonna go have some drinks tonight, yeah. we could pop in, make a thousand, two thousand dollars, and we go drink. Ah, very ah. simple. So that's just, I don't use it to like keep making money. I just, sure. I just wrote. I like to never take money out of my pocket. So sure. if I know we're gonna have a big night, then I'll open a trade. So oh, yeah. what's beautiful about that? That's the power of trading. But oh, what, what about you lose? What that's you the, lose? That, that's the what, what you lose. Now the nights cost you double. No, end of the day. So that, fine. Uh, I yeah. hate the stop loss. I hate yeah. I hate what it is, and I got to take it a little bit easier possibly before that night. Yeah, okay? sure, got yeah. Um, and then you the last of the time. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't matter to the sense, but but the difference is though, the moment that I started doing it like this. My success rate is through the roof. The moment that I try Go trade every day yeah. and I try and make money, yeah. my success yeah. is like. But the moment I used it as a tool in my life, because I'm thinking about it in a different emotional way, and Correct. thing, I start to become way more because now people think they need to trade every day. They need to trade ethics. No, trading is a tool yeah. in your yeah. life yeah. to make it fit your life. Yeah. You need to fit crypto into your life. Yeah. You know, must yeah. fit into crypto's yeah. life. Like, it, no. It's about you finding your frequency. Yeah. At, this frequency, yeah. No. 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 <laughs> at, at this frequency, you're going to fly. At this frequency, you're not. So you un identify that, you chart that, and that's what the frequency that keeps working. It's exactly. like a universal rule. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I get that. It's uh, interesting. And it's like, it's not to say that I just found out right now we're going out tonight. Now I'm going to trade in front. Sure. No, like, Are you going like if I never had three or four, I'm going to the karate combat. The karate combat. Is that the crypto fight night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go have a look. Uh, we're gonna meet some of the guys. Uh, what's uh, a GSP is gonna be there, so I'd love to. Oh, awesome. I've always uh, grew up. My dad loved him to bits, so okay. it would mean a lot for me to go just meet him because my yeah. dad really looked up to him. Sure, and, you know, um, I mean, really liked him a lot. So I wanna go. I'm gonna go through that. It's last night. Yeah, the UFC final. Um, GSP. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. George GSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, damn. I can't believe he's gonna be there. That's crazy. Yeah, it's very cool. There's yeah. a lot of new things happening. So I'm gonna go pop through there. We also got the entire banter team there as well. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know. I never got to really go chill here much. It was all just conference, conference, sure. conference. So uh, I'm just gonna go make the best of it tonight. What are you doing? I think I've got a bit of a double date happening. Yeah. 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 So, like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a double date. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little double date. Yeah. A little bit of options. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I like double dates. Okay. Because it's like, it's like chill. Imagine going on a date with a girl and you're sitting across from her. It's like an interview, mm. right? Mm. And, but but when you're with another couple, and mm. it's bantering, and you know what I mean? They get, I suppose, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Like maybe on a... Something like that. I get them. Something like that, baby. Nice, bro. Um, yeah, bro. Tell me this. Uh, I was going to ask you. Uh, this is your first time in Dubai. Oh. What were we talking about before this, by the way? We are talking about... Um, Oh yeah, that's what you do with the trading, right? So, so you don't actually actively trade to make money. You just trade for things in life. But let's get in the beginning. I had to trade, of course, every day because I didn't have the money, right? Of I had to put in the hours. And sure. to be honest, guys, like you, you, you again, the first step's the hardest step. Yeah. So in the beginning, you have to grind and you have to put in every single hour, and you got to get liquidated, and you mm -hmm. got to sleep on your laptop, and you got to cry. Like, and the moments, even I've had twice ever. There's even a point where I, where I've thrown up. Wow. Twice ever. Because I've literally lost like everything or like, you know, you know that night where you sat up the whole night, you literally sat from, from six at night all the way to five in the morning. Yeah, 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 you yeah. finally think that you yeah. survived it and yeah. it kills you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. You're literally just putting so many hours Got and it. then it decides to, yeah. like, yeah. it literally feels like they slowly stab, 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 and then stomp mm. you and this and that's a yeah. sick feeling, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. a, but that's the shit that made me strong, dude. That's yeah. the shit that made me like. It took it in, and the more times I didn't listen to it, yeah, is the more times that happened, yeah, and the more times I started listening to it <laughs> was, uh, you know, the, the the less times it started happening. Sure. So at the beginning, you gotta pump it in, and you know, ex we all know this, bro. Experience is everything, right? Sure. It's your it's your data. So this is again why I love charts, right? The strongest coins are the ones that have the longest sideways periods. Why right? the longest sideways periods is the one. So sideways periods creates sustainability to the pump. So if you see something has gone sideways for three months, you'll see when it finally pumps. As long as it went sideways, it's as long as it pumps, right? So it teaches you that sense of the the experience is what's gonna, it's gonna show you how far you're gonna get sure. on your pump. And this makes sense, right? And this yeah. is what I love so much about the chart. So the more hours you put in, yeah. 
is sort of going to, and the more you grind it, yeah. is the consolidating part that's going to create how big you want to go. So sure. if you just want to make a temporary shift in your life and stuff like that, cool. Put in the next month or so and it will happen. But if you want to like, like I'm going for billions, right? I'm going for, not because I want the money. I just want the choice and I want to always be able to, if I want my family or I want people like, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. So I outworked a lot of people. Yeah. I put way more hours than anyone. I'm only successful today because I worked harder than you. Yeah. Like, that's very simple. I put yeah. more more time in the charts than you yeah. and that's why I can trade better than yeah. you. That, yeah. that's, literally, <laughs> that's literally the sense. To the point where now, again, like I can open these trades and like you said, like there might be a week of, I'll actually not lose, but I get stopped out. Stopped out, stopped out, stopped when out. When you get stopped out, out, how much do you lose? 10%? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I like it around the three to five, but okay. um, sometimes 10, sometimes 50, bro. Like wow. it depends on, on the actual Riff. position size. Yeah. So what I've learned is you can't control the market firstly. So if I get hits, let's say it tanks, <laughs> Bitcoin falls from 60 to $50,000. I take a 20% hit, okay? Cool. Uh, on my leverage accounts, my trading accounts. Then I get back in and it goes to 40. Mm. Dude, there's so many times where I've gone down 95%. Mm. The difference though, is someone that could, they, to know other people, when they go down 95%, they stop. Yeah. I need to take a break. Yeah. I need yeah. to chill. Yeah. Yeah. I need to yeah. just, no, I yeah. don't. Because yeah. if I can get 5% at the bottom, by the time we get halfway, my money's back more than like, dude, you can take me down 99.999. As long as I got 0 0.00001 at the bottom, I'll be back way quicker. So it's taught me that you can't control it. Sometimes there is going to be news events where mm -hmm. the, the market's going to come. And yes, you're gonna buy the dip. You know, they say you buy the dip, it keeps dipping. Mm. Like for me, it's like, then the problem is the dips, 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 then people quit. Yeah. So they get through a couple of them yeah. and then they and then they quit. But that's where it was the best time to have something in that game when it started, because then you have something to build on Correct. later and it's, it comes back three to four times more. So Correct. maybe the market's not gonna make me lots of spending money this sure. week. Maybe it's not, but at the end of the day, I stay focused in it because yeah. You remember, there's uh, the chart never goes in one way, mm. ever. So even when people say they luck and stuff like that, it never goes in one way. You're gonna still have your day, and if you're having a bad spree now, your good spree is coming. Yeah. And that's one thing to like, just make sure your good spree yeah. is bigger than your bad spree. Yeah. And as long as you're doing that, you are literally in an uptrend. Yeah, and that's the that's the amazing thing. So. Trading's a it's a tool for me, bro, and I love it. And, okay. And I trade to keep warm. That's one thing I also do. I don't trade for the money anymore. I just stay. I trade. So, so how do you make money now? If you stop trading, really, to make money? Uh, is it so, so, uh, holdings? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. A lot of my my long term holdings, which I also hold for way too long. Like okay. now, I'm at that point where it's like my whole strategy has changed with that completely. Okay. Like now, my long term money because that was tough for me because. On my show, I have to be a trader now, but in yeah. real life, like it's irresponsible for me to be a trader now yeah. because it's, it's on another scale of money and this is my life saving. So even though I have to trade every day on the show, it basically feels like I got to be a three year back version of me. Yeah. What I was like three years ago, yeah. I have to still be that today. Yeah. But in real life, yeah. it's not good for me to be that sure. anymore. I, Sheldon's got to grow. Sure. Sheldon's got to go up. So what I got to teach on the show, like I got to do the opposite in real life, yeah. which is yeah. so hard because yeah. you're teaching new people and you're, yeah. you're helping them where they're starting. But at the end of the day, like I can't be a trade anymore. It's irresponsible to trade my life savings on of course. on these sort of things where I'm actually at that point where I'm an investor now, bro. I'm a bigger holder. I'm yeah. holding in a lot of things. Like, So that's been tough for me to understand. It's I, I've had to learn this skill now. I learned trading two, three years. Now I'm learning the other skill. Now I'm learning the the bigger money and these yeah. things. And when the crash happened last week, you know, I had to lose uh, you know, $700,000. And for me, that's Your portfolio tough. dropped 700000 yeah, Just my trading account, yeah, yeah. Just your trading account. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I got, sm got absolutely smashed yeah. in that sort of sense. That's just and your trading account. That's not your long-term holding account. No, no, that's, we can talk, that was, that's probably down, you know, to, to well, it's not down until you've obviously sold the yeah. market. Well, oh, you realize the loss. Um, yeah, 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 but, uh, but no, nonetheless. Down 200 million? No, no, not that much. But I'm definitely down a couple of miles. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, What's fifteen nine saying anymore? Is it much money or not? Um, it's, what it's a lot. It's still fifty grand. The the the, the reason is because uh, I can help a lot of people with that. So so for me, it's uh, it's not about me anymore. Sure. You know, it's not about it's like uh, so when I take a loss. Like it upsets me a little bit because I could have done something with that money. You know, yeah. I could have like helped someone. There's a lot of people that thousand dollars means the world like it would just give them something or a little bit of hope so mm. when i take these big losses i'm i'm 
trading irresponsibly, um, I, I kind of hit myself a little bit hard because I okay. could have I could have helped someone with that. Do you know what I mean? I could have given that instead of me just throwing it to the market. Yeah. And then I'll look at the other side of it and I'll be like, it's okay. You know, you didn't help anyone or you gave this money back to the market, but take the lesson then at least. Sure. You know what I mean? At least yeah. take in something from it. Otherwise, you're literally just wasting your life. Like yeah. you're just wasting your time. So 50 grand, losing 50 grand or 200 grand, it sucks because I could have done something with it. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. that's the only point. Yeah. I'm not worried that I won't make it back, dude. I'll, no, of course. Two weeks, I'm yeah. back. You know what I'm back, mean? Um, just, yeah. The thing is, uh, you know, I, I did a podcast with a guy who's very successful and he, 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 um, got exposed to child trafficking. And now he just doesn't buy any watches, clothes, bags, whatever. I mean, he goes, I went, we went to, with my wife to Fendi. She bought a bag with 3000 US dollars. And I thought, how many kids could I have saved with that? Mm. Because that's how my brain works mm. now. Mm. So same with you, because you guys got a lot of money for you, mm. right? Mm. But you're thinking, how many people could I have helped with that? It, it is a lot, exactly, exactly. Right? And uh, exactly, and even though, I tried, I think I've bought a Louis Vuitton shoes once, Yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think <laughs> anything that, I, and I've also bought a car recently, like for me, it, it's very, a Maserati. No, I, I had a Maserati. Oh, did, I love it. Which one, give me? I, I got the, no, the two door. Two door? Um, nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Um, it got me way too much attention though, dude. Like I'm actually, this is why, you know, we spoke about it's it earlier. Safe. It's not safe. It is, bro. There's a lot of safe. Yes, there's a lot of like people, What's it's the way it comes across. Yeah. Nah, dude, yeah. there's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of places in the country that's not safe, but dude, I grew up in one of the most unsafe, like Boxburg, Johannesburg is like, uh, it's a different, like literally when you walked out of school, like they got knives there, they take your phone, like, yeah. like many times, like these things have, yeah. uh, um, my mom's been smashed and grabbed so many times where they'll smash the window, take her, her purse, um, and these things all the time. But I don't know, that taught me hustle, taught me mentality. Like, there, but there's a lot of safe places there too. But the car got me a lot of attention, right? Oh. Which I actually didn't like. And we spoke about it earlier, why I get nervous between every show, because I'm actually an introvert, like I'm actually to myself. What I'm doing here is me literally putting myself out there. This is not oh. actually me. Like, this is me, like... You know, it's just not being afraid anymore. I'm not afraid to show who I am anymore. Like, yeah. but it, I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah. Extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. I've learned, what do they say? You got to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. The moment you can master that, yeah. that's when you know you're growing. When you're yeah. comfortable, you're losing, bro. You're yeah, not doing yeah, yeah. Any, exactly. good, any good in this world at all. You're comfortable. You got to feel that sickness exactly. every every time. That's when you're pumping, bro. That, that's, when, that's when things are, then you know you're, you're, you're on an uptrend. Yeah, of course. But when I got the car, it gave me a lot of that uh, attention, which was quite tough for me. But then it showed me the other side as well. When I started to meet the, um, you know, the bigger guys, guys that own things, they gave me more respect. They gave me, it started to gave, gain respect for me, which was a big thing. And then I was like, holy shit, this is a tool. Mm. So now and then I will put a little bit of money into something because it's a tool to access mm. the next level, the next elite, because people know how hard it is. Success, successful people know successful people. Mm. They know that the first step's the hardest step. They know it. So if they see that you have that type of car and you're 27, there's some sort of respect there yeah, correct. for you in that sense. Correct. And that's why they're willing to talk to you. Correct. Not because you're this, not because you're that. Yeah. It's because yeah. you passed the level and... So it's a tool. Exactly. <laughs> the exactly. is a tool. But I also love it, by the way. Yeah, but beautiful. I love it to myself. I don't need to show anyone else no, no, I love it. Like, beautiful. I love it. It the corners beautifully. And the it, noise. The sound. Especially bro. when you put it in sports mode, it's a different exactly. car. When it unlocks that exhaust. It's a bro. different car. It's bro. so hot. You know? like, I love it. I love Sha it. I love Shaq it. was uh, driving at home after the work. It was the coolest. Really, yeah. it was the, yeah. the sound of that car is, is oh, amazing. I love it. It rips. Dude, it's like, it. it's really hot. Yeah. It's like good for the soul, right? Yeah, yeah I really feel really your like soul. Me yeah. too, bro. Me too. But, you know, at the time when I bought it, it was tough for me because I had to really make sure that I'm buying it for the right reason. Sure. You know, it wasn't to prove anything to anyone. Um, and maybe I actually did buy it to prove something to someone. Maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't that. Exactly. Like, I don't know sense. But the main thing is I hated the too much attraction of it, but I loved the access that it gave me. So what are you going to do? And I like think, no. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100% it'll stay in my collection. I'll probably yeah. but only buy some more in the future, to be okay. honest. But it will come from the right place. It'll come for okay. me because I actually give a shit about the car, not yeah. because, you know, I want to be cool and show sure. the, the world that I must prove to you that I'm cool and rich. Follow me. <laughs> I'll make Lambos. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need you to follow me. You follow me, you want to follow me. Like, that's, that's your other thing. People already know you're financially set as well. You don't need to flex it. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to flex it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're using, like, I don't want to say that people shouldn't buy these things, 
if you're using it to access and you're using it to to get where you got to get go for it it's a phenomenal tool people cool. take you serious they they give you respect yeah and uh you know again the first steps the hardest step so yeah. if you like success, successful people don't talk much to the poor right yeah or any person i wouldn't say poor but someone that's not there yet yeah they don't so it's a tool to access you know those sort of things and go for it in the future just make sure it's feeling you from the right point so yeah. that's the big thing so I love my Maserati. Yeah. I don't care what anyone thinks about yeah. it. Like, I love it. You know what I mean? And I'll Gr- probably Grand get... Turismo? Is that what uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I Turismo the sport. I yeah. Think, yeah. I think my brother. He's the vibe. Oh, yeah? He's 22, 23. He's like five years younger than me. No way. I'm the no. brain. He's the vibe. No way. He's such, he's a vibe. Oh, you're a vibe too, man. No, don't, 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 no, 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 no. But he's also... Yeah. Dude, for this guy, Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Like, it was tough for him to, to know what his future is and stuff like that, but... Dude, this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna surpass me. And I've always told him, wow. I always told him that, Dean, I'm passing levels in front of your eyes. Wow. That you can go past, bro. Wow. You go past, bro. You, you go through. Just <laughs> love man, that. that. I'll pass like love whatever that. I can, but you're going, bro. Like I you're going. That's that that. ego. Dude, I love hanging out with you. I'm not here. Because I'm like you as well. I'm like, like, I have no ego. Girls say, oh, you don't have a room play of ego, all that stuff. Exactly, bro. It's nice to see somebody else like that. Dude, it's again. I'm here for uh, a different purpose. Bro. Yeah, I'm not here to yeah. make sure I'm the cool on this planet. Like, yeah. I'm here to make difference. Yeah, I'm here to help. I'm here to inspire. Um, and this this kid's got it. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna do it. He's got so much talent. He just needs to um, just find that that dog in him. You know what mm. I mean? That that which he has, mm. which he has. But he's just got to get that that dog. And he needs purpose. Yeah. So teaching is what gives me purpose. Yeah. And you could see I could talk to you like this for hours. Because yeah. I. I'm so happy. I'm not just talking about crypto, crypto coins anymore. Yeah. Like I believe this shit can help people, bro. What yeah. we're talking about now, this yeah. is the real shit. And this is how you become 100% successful and how you get into these things. Is Rand here? He is here. He's in Dubai. He is in Dubai. Amazing. Nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know that. I haven't seen him around. No, he's been at the car. That guy's a machine, bro. Is he? Dude, he's the neck. No, like really? no one ever. Like I've met a whole bunch of guys. Like Ran outworks anyone by far. He's a marketing genius. Wow, he is absolutely crazy. Machine. Like he's um, dude, he's um, Is he gonna be there tonight? The fight thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys are gonna get together. Yeah, we'll go. We'll meet there. I don't see much. Me and him don't see each other much on conferences. Got me, me and Rad are actually super close. Yeah. Um, we weren't many times, but we're super close now. Um, but right like now, relationship. yeah, exactly. Right now, like he's doing his work, I'm doing mine. And yeah. when we get back to the office, we meet. Oh, we yeah. give me your information, information, and we, and we start to make some deals. Sure. And we start to understand where we're going. But yeah, we sort of do our thing. And uh, he's the brain of the channel. I'm the heart. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I believe you need in any business. Yeah. You need brain and heart. Yeah. Once you got brain and heart, that's exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. And I'm the heart. Dude. Are you guys leaving together tomorrow? I don't know. I think he go? might. I think he might leave on Monday, maybe. Okay. Maybe or maybe tomorrow. I'll actually find out tonight. Okay. I don't, I don't know his. What have you done since you've been in Dubai? Have you been on a boat? Have you been on a yacht? I've been on a yacht with. Yeah. Uh, but I'm actually meant to go on a yacht today as well. Okay. Another one. Yeah. Um. Which yeah, but I've done. Uh, it's with Coin W. It's one of the main uh, exchanges. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just been on rooftop parties and I've just been at their, their main events. Yeah. And I'm just supporting my sponsors, to be honest. Like. Cool. Just yeah, giving them some love. So Coin a w. lot of you, Coin W, yeah. Ibert, yeah. Uh, I met get... of the Coin W, by the way. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, uh, Australia. Oh, amazing, yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Uh, wait, you, didn't they uh, give you an award? Yeah, yeah. What award? Well, tell me. I, I'm their number one affiliate. So I'm their number one, um, uh, I don't know, revenue or, or uh, sign up with the with links and things like ah, that. So, and that's just through school, dude. I literally mastered the system. Yeah. I literally mastered the system with Creator School that has recorded content, that's yeah. got live events. The only way you get in is with the link yeah. and these sort of things. And yeah. it's, it's amazing, bro. When you go there and you see how pumped up I get, like, yeah. I come in there hot. Bro. Yeah. I come in there. When you leave there, like, we're roaring. You know what I mean? And it's, uh, and automatically, again, dude, I literally have to sit there and teach people uh, and I make money, bro. Uh, I'm like, holy shit, bro. I literally got to help people and, and I money. get rich. Yeah. And the more I help, the more yeah. I get rich. Yeah. It's like, it's incredible. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's so rewarding. Yeah. And it's also so like, again, financially yeah. great yeah. to what we're doing. So the, the core behind what we built in the business is truly special. Like yeah. if our people make it, we make it. Yeah. And I think I that, that just keeps you so true to who you are every yeah. day. Yeah. Um, where a lot of people 
or not like that. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to... Of course. Because I tried to do this, it was about a year and a half ago, and it blew up, dude. The moment that I started my own channel, like I got 20k subs in my first week. Of course. And I had to stop. Go off. Because I had to go back into, you know, like then I had to build school. I had to build this. Yeah. So there's so much this, like I know that this is my true calling. I know this is yeah. where I really blow yeah. up. This is where I go next. Next so, level. sort of place. And yeah. it's nice that you've given me that feel again because... Again, crypto, I'm a little bit bored and it's like, I just want to get back to the real shit. Yeah. And you've given me that chance just to, to talk again and just like, oh, it's bad. You still got it, bro. Like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, so thank you for, for, for giving that to me, dude. It's, uh, of course, it's meant dude. a lot to me because I've sort of get, again, bro, I love all my sponsors. I like, I love everyone in this world, but a lot of people just, they want me to keep teaching and stuff for the financial benefit, sure. right? They want to keep pushing me for these sort of things. So sometimes I get stuck in that bubble. Sometimes sure. I'm in that bubble where I'm just doing because people want me to do that sure. stuff. Um, and the only way that they give me, this is the crazy thing though. What I mean by they is just everyone as a whole, like when I'm making money, Sheldon's incredible. And that's how I'm getting rated. That That's my, my ticker. Like for me, it was uh, end of the day, the more people I help, the more effort I put in, I get richer anyway. But yeah. they they look at me in a sense of, they only give me acknowledgement when I'm pulling these numbers. So mm. yeah, the awards are cool and stuff like that, but you're only doing it because I'm performing money-wise. Mm. You know what I mean? If they, to, if they had to come to me and give me an award for like, help. Dude, you literally helped this, but you literally but, did this or you did this stuff, but the I'd be way more proud. Yeah. Way more proud than God. telling me that I'm the top affiliates. I've got you the most sign-ups and stuff like Yeah, yeah that's, 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 cool. that's, that's cool. capitalism. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, you're killing capitalism. It's like, you, you, you're... Your your path that you like listen, you know exactly, and it's uh exactly. So how do you like Dubai? It's your first time. First first time Dubai. First time Dubai. You love it. Dubai. Right, it's crypto city here. Dude, I love it. It's uh it's quite different, overwhelming. Yeah. Um, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing. It's amazing yeah. to you know what I like about it is mm. the it's such a good key for me. Like I think way too small at times. Like yeah. I th I'm already a big thinker. I yeah. have like ridiculous yeah. goals, ridiculous. Like yeah. I already know what I do in my thirties, forties. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a great thing that we we could also talk about. Um, but it makes me it recharges me to think bigger because when I see the money, when I see the, the yeah. like if I could have my heart and my passion yeah. and that money, yeah. like bro, this is yeah. like this you're talking like like you're talking yeah. big, you're talking massive. So yeah. I take inspiration of it and I take inspiration of uh of thinking bigger, going back pumped, and like knowing that wow, like I can go so much bigger, I can go so much more. So Dubai it's a good reach on it. It does. It does. Dubai it does. will tear your brain, it and it teaches me the fakeness too. It shows yeah. me the other side of it too. It yeah. shows me these people that have so much money, but yeah. I can, I can, I can read a person. Yeah. I can see in eyes. I can yeah, see yeah, when yeah. you're actually hurting or like, correct. You're not okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can see you nice in your roles, but I could see in your eyes you're not okay. Because uh, I'll say something, uh, when, when you've got all these rich people here, what are you gonna, uh, are you gonna impress them with money? They have an abundance of money. I, you're not gonna impress people with money, I have an abundance of it. It's your character, it's your spirituality. Are you a good person? Do you give back? Are you trustworthy? That's what impresses them. Exactly, people, exactly. Right? And, I, and I, it actually happened to me the other day as well, where it was, I also met this guy, they didn't know me, okay? I didn't know him either, but he got some money, but we just ended up being, you know, uh, uh, in the lobby together. And I just met him and I was just to the sense of like, how are you, bro? How are you feeling? Like, you look a little bit down, are you okay? And these sort of things. And this guy instantly got a type, got way more money, got way more of this. But the fact that he just saw me, that it, that didn't mean anything to me. I just asked like, how are you doing, bro? Like, are you okay? Like, are you good? And these sort of things. And he just connected with me. And it's crazy how it had nothing to, like you said, what are you going to, what do you, they got money too, right? It's how are you going to get their attention? It's, yeah. it's that realness, that heart, that, that, True. That connection and, and automatically that's what, dude, it's the most highest, it's the most valuable resource source on this planet. Yeah. It's realness. Yeah. In a world of fake, bro, realness is by far the highest. Rich people want to talk to me because they love my heart. Yeah. Not, not, they're like, it's crazy because they don't have that. They, they don't feel that. They don't know how that happens. And the reason why I'm saying this is I have another friend that is in Dubai now at the moment. And he's like loaded, bro. Like he's on a level of, he's doing incredible in life. Also in a really good time in his life, got 30 supercars, got all this sort of things. But I did see a little bit, he's also got a fan base in a different, especially back at home. But what he saw is when he saw my fans, he saw like, dude, I had women, like 40 year old, 50 year old women, 
follow me at this conference, bringing me water and food. To be like, my boy, I just want to make sure you're eating. I just wanted, I got moms, bro. I got mom vibes. Wow. I had moms that followed me around this thing. My fans were different, bro. Yeah. Like, this is that. And when he saw that side of things, yeah. like, he's got his thing and what he's built. Crazy. It made him be like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, I want, like, that is true. Yeah. Like, oh, wait, what I mean. speaking of food, are you hungry? I would eat something. Um, Shaq, you know, in Jumeirah, there's a place where they have, like, there, is it here? It's here. They come to the window. Oh, this is perfect. This is a traditional Emirati food oh, where they wow, come through really? the door. No, they come to the window and they and they take your food. Yeah, this is where it is? Where they come to the window? No. No. Shaq, in Jumeirah, um, there's a place where they you, you beep your horn, they come to the window, they take your order, and then they go bring you food. All right, you know where that is? No. No? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a little bit further up. It's a little bit further up on our right, this side of the road. You go somewhere. I don't know where it is, but they uh, they basically come to the window and they bring you food. All right, let's go, let's go have a look. Let's see on that. Cool. 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 The, there's tables that come out here. So we're ready? Yeah, hey, we can see ready. And have, a, have a little, little thing. Man. We, we can like critique the food. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're ready. Okay. We're ready. I'll ready to buy food. Let's yeah. Go. Have you been to Harry Yez for your the uh, lifeboat Li Three? Li No. Okay. I've actually kept it toned down this trip. Okay. I got invited to so much more and so many things. Like, anyway. Yeah, I'm just at that point where I don't think I'm here for that. Mm. Like, I, I just read where I'm at at the moment. And love th- that. Th- there's a big journey that's about to start for me. And I'm trying to pay attention to that. I, I love, love that you're so centered that nothing can... F- hey, do you want to come with a $100 million yacht? No, no, no. I'm centered. I'm not right there now. for that. Nothing's going to nothing's gonna push you. I'm not there for that for this trip. Like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not here for another big, like, deal. Like, I'm here because there's another... There's a directional change in my life that's going to happen from this trip. Sure. And I'm trying to be present to that. Sure. You know what I mean? Love again, that. my money, like, I, I did, again, I've probably tripled my net worth in the last six months. Wow. Now my money needs to chill. Wow. I've got, I've got to put my focus somewhere else now. Yeah. I've got to create sustainability. So yeah. money will come in and I'll have yeah. my slow grind and that will keep going. But yeah. I shouldn't be focusing on the right now. More money yeah. deals now, more this. No, dude, like, I'm looking for the next purpose. I'm looking for my next chapter, my next fire, my next. Yeah. What's that? So I'm trying to stay away from the arts at the moment and okay. I'm trying to be more present and trying to like look at this. Yeah. I'd rather be doing this right now and talking from this than mm. on a yacht right now. Like mm. that shit doesn't, you know, it doesn't give me what I need no, at the moment. No, and if I can talk negatively a little bit, um, the crypto people are peculiar people. There are some peculiar people where they just have this unnecessary ego. Mm. I'm not sure if you've met these guys, but they just. And then there's a guy, like, you know, I'll go to a guy and then I speak to him and then I'll be like, so what are you doing? He's like, I'm a crypto god. Jesus Christ, I just met you. Why the fuck are you telling me you're a crypto god? Like, turn down the ego, right? Hey, bro. That's the problem, dude. Yeah. And the, the problem is these are the guys that are probably leaders in the, in the industry and uh, that's the problem. But to be honest, end of the day, it's like, for them, there's actually a, a big amount of viewers that actually look up to that shit and it kind of mm. works at times but the problem with that doesn't create sustainability it may be great now mm. but we'll watch that same guy in three years from now mm. and then no, no longer relevant no that's no the part relevant. of the industry that i don't love and the thing is you you have access to everyone in the industry yeah yeah, yeah. right especially in crypto yeah you have access so you see all the characters all, all of them. them all right them. it's uh and it's good for me because i got to like see the different types of them and yeah. every single one of them like especially the flashy ones yeah they were so empty bro at times yeah. like so empty like it was literally Ooh. they were doing it for the like yeah, yeah bro it's all money that's the thing you can't be driven by money bro no. like you gotta know how to make money and it's yeah. cool but it can't be the driver it can't yeah. be the the push behind what you're doing like it, it, yeah. it cannot because it's uh, over a couple of years like you just see emptiness from these guys yeah and things like that so i don't like that side either but end of the day you need them there you yeah. need them. It's part of the the way I see it's the business the world is I see it as a food chain, the same way that you have uh, in the jungle. You got your lions, you got your giraffes, you got this whatever. It's the same in the business world. Yeah. You need those little flashy guys, and you yeah. need the the quiet guys. I love the quiet guys. I yeah. I still there's a couple, one or two humble guys I've met, but we are lacking realness. We're lacking a lot of realness in crypto. Yeah, uh, that's probably why over time, like I'll surpass a lot of them. Exactly in that sense because it's. I'm here to bring real shit. I'm here to be true. I'm here to be, and I'm not perfect. I've messed up so many times on streams. I've gotten so many calls wrong. It's not about that. It's the sense of when I get something wrong, 
look what I use with that information and yeah. look how I'm better later on. I'm trying to just be true. And the way I'm being true is I'm showing my successes and my losses on streams every single day. Mm. And you will see me go through my, my bad patch. And when I go through a bad patch, I lose 30% of my audience. Mm. Wow. Okay, but there's seventy percent that stay. Yeah. Or or fifty percent that stay in that yeah. point. And they're the ones that later on yeah. rise and understand because I oh, never yeah. quit, bro. And you can never Yeah. How can you can you can't? You know, this is one thing that I learned about bear markets and bull markets with, with, with Bitcoin is I stopped rating Bitcoin on how well it does in a bull market. I started rating on how well does it do in a bear market. Ah. That's the important information. Okay. And that's the same thing when it comes to if I'm going to watch someone or be, you know, someone that like, they're looking at shoulder night. Is this the guy that's going to help me financially be set? Yeah. Don't, don't monitor me then when I'm getting trades right. Yeah. Monitor me when it's, when it's, when it's wrong. And when I come back out of that and run it, that's when you're going to see realness from these things and these sort of things. So it's taught me that sense of, you know, you're only as good as your last drop and you're only as good as the, 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 the lows that you're making and things like that. So. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about the crypto. Talk to me about this current market, right? This current market, obviously, we, we're not used to hitting all time highs before the halving. What do, how do you think this market is going to, do you think it's going to be a shorter market or do you think it's going to be a super cycle because of the ETFs? I think it's going to be a prolonged cycle and I don't think it's going to be as aggressive as what it was previously. I think it is going to be aggressive on a longer term base. I do. I think it's, uh, I think now we've got big money in the markets and the fact that we hit an all-time high before halving, now no one knows the cycle. No, mm. Now you're only left with your tools. Now no one can predict it. Now we're in uncharted territory that yeah. we've never ever seen before. Yeah. Now, yeah. And I'm so glad it finally did it. Yeah. I'm so glad it finally cracked yeah. the same thing that it's done every time. Yeah. Like now what, guys? Now where are we going? This is why when you didn't believe me when I said that trend lines and school and these things why it's so important yeah. is because the day that you're in all-time highs yeah. then what are you going to use yeah yeah i got yeah. the tools that i can i don't know where it's going but yeah. i got tools to try i got tools that i can use to take advantage yeah. either way that we go yeah. where all of those that followed the previous side like now what yeah and you're about to see a lot of people make a shit ton of money you're about to see a lot of big guys lose a shit ton of money yeah. and so me personally, I think this is the slow grind to the, the levels that we finally thought Bitcoin was going to be. But I think it's going to, I think we're going to have a couple months up, like let's say six months up, two, three months down, like over three to five years now. I think we're going to have this. And I don't know, dude, I'm, I'm waiting to still see if these old seasons are still going to really happen. Like, What, you don't think old seasons are going to happen? I don't know. I do. But I, I, I don't know if it's going to happen the way it did previously. Like, you know, we've seen it. Alt, Alt actually did well. Actually, they did well two months ago. Like, there was a little push yeah. from them and it did really well. And I think it's going to be like that. Yeah. I don't know if there's this blow off anymore. Really? I don't know. Because, no, because people, one thing that people realized with Bitcoin now, they, they're realizing again that Bitcoin is the king, bro. So, again, I'm only using altcoins to make more Bitcoin. And they're going to be treated as the, you now you have wife material. Yeah. And you got the fun time. Yeah. Altcoins are the fun time. Yeah. That's the, and then you got the wife. Like, that. that's, yeah. that's, uh. Me, I choose the wife. You Got, know what yeah. I mean? I choose that sort of thing um, because, again, we just had a correction of what twenty percent from Bitcoin, but altcoins yeah. came down fifty. So yeah. when should it? Don't judge things on the way up; judge things on the way down. Yeah, and that's the that's the key. Interesting. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now, let's get back into it. Your message is going to be so like good for everyone that it doesn't matter where you put it it's mm. it's, it's gonna work mm. you know mm. so that's why it doesn't matter you just put it out there and uh and you'll see where it goes my team goes can you keep the podcast under one hour because the algorithm likes it i don't care if nobody watches mm. i'm doing this for me i enjoy exactly. it and mm. that's why i'll be successful and those are the actual ones that take off it's actually exactly crazy. it's actually crazy. you don't care about numbers exactly you, you, i just want to meet people like you and just like pick your brains and oh that's and you know and the thing is the people that are watching like they feel in that room they feel like they're in that car now because it is yeah. that there's no yeah. fresh on time there's no this like they feel that yeah and they feel like they're in there and i think that's a that's a big thing bro yeah Who's yeah. uh, who's uh, who's someone that you really want to to really want to? Who's like your top three? Like you like? Uh, I'd love to do Andrew Tate. Yeah, that's an interesting brain. Yeah, very interesting brain. Um, yeah, he is a very interesting brain. Yeah, He's a very interesting. Yeah, brain. that whole crazy journey was. Uh, the only thing is, I saw it coming. Like, so the problem is with Tate, and this is where 
um, I spoke about you know, life's a chart and charting it. Like it was just too much parabolic. Yeah. And that's why look how the, the, the things happen. So that's why now that he's chilled, like he's actually consolidating now. Yes. His second round's coming. Yeah. Andrew Tate's going to pump again. He's going to pump hard because yeah. now finally just, because those, those three years for him or those two years, like it was just a coin that was going too fast. Yeah. And that's when the attacks were coming. That's where these things were happening. Not because of anything else, but like you were just growing a little bit too fast. Yeah. And that was the thing of, now he's like, he actually actually needed this. Yeah. As much as he didn't, like he actually needed this to just reconsolidate to prep him for the next one. Yeah. Uh, the, the too much, like it was starting to get unhealthy. If I looked at his yeah. charts, I was like, I'm actually worried about his charts because if I look at where he's going, like it's actually too much now. Parabolic. This is so healthy for him. Yeah. The stages that he's in now. Yeah. Where is that now? I've seen a, a Tate going back to Tate again. You know what I mean? Like yes. truly just reconnecting with himself again. And I feel like he's going to do incredible things. I feel like yeah. he's going to, He's going to have another round yeah. in the right way this time. So I think he's in a good place, bro. I think he needed this. It was a learning for him. Massive learning. Yeah. And I think it's he's only going to be better from this. And uh end of the day, he accomplished what many will never accomplish yeah. before. But he's he's doing well. The way he's taking it now, the way he's calmed down now, like he, he's, he's uh, yeah, dude, I, I think he's going to have another run. I think he's going to do well. But wow. he needs to be here now. Like this is where he needs to be for a little while. But also the consolidation wasn't his, it wasn't, um, wasn't by his choosing. Exactly. The road was already part. He needed, he needed that. Like the but government he's using it right as well. The governments are taking him down. Exactly. Right. So exactly. like they, uh, London now wants him. But remember how life works, bro. If you're not going to see it, eventually life's going to do it for you. Yeah. Always. Like, That's what? why you need a capture. Like you need a big event to change your life. Yeah. Because you didn't listen for so long, bro. So eventually something had to happen. Yes. To hit. So. Hit that. So I think now it hits, and now he's in the moment, and he's mm. using it. I think he's liking the downtown a little bit. I think he's liking the. You see, cool. which is good. So cool. I think life just came and hits a bit, but he's such a smart man that he now understands that he needs to be in this place. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's actually building the next phase. Yeah. I can see that, man. He's busy building something incredible. But they're trying to hold him down because now that his trail is finished at Romania, because I've done podcasts with his friends, right? Like mm-hmm. his best friend. In, in, he lives in Dubai. Um, and, uh, and once he's done with that, now London wants him. So then he has to go to London to go to court. Right, so they're just trying to hold him down consistently, right? Not not to blow up anymore. Yeah, it's the power, I suppose. He was getting so much, uh, you know, reach and so much stuff. Uh, mm. End of the day, there's there's very there's two big teams here that we're looking at. There's one that's just like the moment you gain the power, the moment like, you know, end of the day, it's uh, you gotta get attacked in that sense. Yeah. As long as he just uses this time, which I think he really is, I'm seeing a good humble Tate at the moment. I like this yeah. Tate. This is the Tate that I, yeah. remember again, I judge you on your lows. I don't judge you on your highs. Yo, I judge you on yeah. your pullbacks. Yeah. And uh, this is the Tate that I really like. Yeah, this okay. is the one that I think is the one that, uh, you know, that's, that he should be and that he's in the right place. So he's got a lot. I don't know his situation. I don't know if I ever want to be that big, like a fig, but it's like, if it's for the right reason and yeah. I'm touching people, look cool. Bring yeah. it to me. I, I'll take. It. I'll never cap. I'll never cap my growth. I'll never yeah. cap my my sort of thing. Yeah. But it's a lot, dude. It's a lot of things to to take on. But he was ready oh. for it. He was. He was he ready was. for it. You need to uh, bring it on. He's, there's a very, very, very small percentage of the planet, but he's a mega mind. I call them mega mind. Mm. That's what I call them. Mm. He's a mega mind, and Rand's a mega mind. Rand's a mega mind too. And that's the one I'd love to have on the podcast. I don't know if he would do a podcast. Would he? I don't think he would. It doesn't seem like the character that. Would want to get because I've never seen. I'm sure he would. I'm sure. Really? I'm sure he would. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I've never seen him on a podcast. So I was the, the one of the I was the only person to ever do it. Like a like he's done. I think part, but I, I'm the only person he's ever done a podcast with. Um, and I saw a different version of him. He loves it actually. Does he? He he'd, like end of the day he 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 presents himself because he has to present himself like that. But sure. but he only but wants to talk truth and talk like that is not okay at times and when he lost a hundred million dollars in Luna I could really destroy him like even though he's got to get on the show night he's got to be confident and he's got to get it back which he has he's back now yeah he's back and above it yeah but it really hurts him and when we got to just have the cameras and have the, the chat there it meant a lot to him that he could actually talk about it and not have to have anyone to, like judge or that the ego side he didn't have to be strong yeah. he could sit there and he could just like that was hard bro that was my hardest day ever that was my this and he actually really appreciates that. So I think he will really enjoy something like this. Wow. It'll be a little bit hard to get him. Yeah. The moment he's in, he will love it. He will really love it because it just gets him back to to that again and feeling. And, you know, he feels like he has to be strong all the time. And that's, uh, he also just shouts out for a bit of love sometimes. He also needs that love, bro. And he also needs to know, like, he's also heard and it matters, bro. It mm-hmm. matters that he's, uh, 
you know, that people see him for that. And Ran, as much as he changed my life, I believe I've changed his too. Yeah, of course. Because uh, every single day in the office, I walk there in the morning, yeah. how are you, bro? And I go sit with him every Friday. I say, How's it? how are you doing, bro? How are you feeling? How are this? He has no one that does it for him. Wow. No one, dude. By the way, that, that, does is that office is amazing. It looks like a lounge. Oh, no. Right? Very cool. It looks like couches everywhere. Isn't it? Everywhere. You know, it doesn't even look like an office. And we're taking over the entire floor. Like, no, really? no, we really, Yeah, it's very cool. It looks like a lounge. It is. It, it is. It's like we've couches. we sleep the, there. Like, yeah, now and then. Cause I, get, I get headaches now and then. And I get those, those that I just can't get rid of. So I need to nap. Yeah. Um, and I think that's when I'm going through my craze phase. So, yes, we do definitely sleep there sometimes. How often do you spend time in the office? I'm there every day, okay. but not often. Like, I'm there for like two, three hours. Uh-huh. Ran, like, a lot of people fight with me from it. They believe you need to be working in the office and sticking to that stuff. Um, not me, dude. Like, I'm there for two, three hours in the day, and then I'm on the golf course Yeah. once a day. I play two hours of golf every single day. Wow. Because it's uh, Sheldon time. Just yeah. that little bit of Sheldon time, and it separates me from business so that business, Sheldon time, and then I go home to my family. I used to always go home from work to my family, and then the problem is you take that whole world with you. Sure. You know what I mean? And then you're not present, and you're not there, and you're not thinking. So I needed that icebreaker between sure. uh, between work and home, um, something that just neutralizes me. Yeah. Just neutralizes me. Yeah. Just takes away the, the shock for the day, and then uh, then I come home, and I can be me, and I can, yeah. like... I love that I don't switch off. Yeah, if I come yeah. straight You're going to out, bro. No, and, and I'm not true to, like, when my wife's talking to me, I'm not actually listening. Like, I'm thinking about the yeah. Bitcoin price. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So I needed yeah. something that that gave me and made me, you know, pure when I come home. And I'm actually really giving them the time and I'm really present. Being present. Because I, I had to become this number guy so quickly in this space that it was an addiction, dude. It was literally a point of, like, I couldn't think anymore. I literally couldn't be myself. Like, I could not stop my brain just couldn't and it was like terrifying because you start to lose control of it and that's where i believe a lot of businessmen are at they're lost in their own minds bro they're gone you know what i mean they don't even and they don't even know it um it's a scary thought so that for me was a big big lesson to to learn to do those sort of things so the golf was a big one for me um, and then when I'm home with my, my daughter and that, they just bring me back to, of course. to, to that passion. Have you got yeah. kids? No kids, but I can't wait no for kids. kids. You're, uh, you, you want kids? Of course. Nice. Of course. Like, yeah. Listen, my business partners, their kids, like, as soon as I go over, they run to their room, put on their best dress and come back. Like, every, all the kids love me. Like, I, I, exactly. I sit with them and I, and I, everything. So, our food's here. Hi, sir. How are you? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, damn. Okay. These are... Uh, I would not say it's bad if it's not good. Yeah. Because the gyps aren't great. Introduce yourself here and uh, you know him, bro. In gyps aren't great. Mm? You know what I mean? McDonald's chops, very strong rub. Mm. So these are wraps, right? Man, the wrap is amazing. Oh, wow. Incredible. That was great. Oh, man. This chicken? Mm hmm. Look at that. Mm. So, Ooh. you're supposed to have this with it. Okay. Basically, you've got to open this up. This is how I saw some guy do it, right? You open this up, you put it here. Okay. And then you kind of have it with it. Man, being from South Africa, nowhere in the world would compare when it comes to steak and red meat. No way. Right? No way. You guys are the best red meat. And we have the best food in general. Like, we have, really? like, um, remember, we got, um, we're a rainbow nation, right? We have every single culture and every single, like, we're, we're literally, I would say, the the most spread out. In a day, like, South Africa was like, like a little bit of like uh, the prostitute of the world. Ooh. Well, and what I mean by that is like everyone came through there, bro. You know what I mean? Everyone took over, everyone changed. Like it was this whole to you you're sitting with the sure. massive rainbow nation of different cultures and sure. And you know what's powerful, dude? They're coming together slowly. We we're getting very really? through our government. But the way we are coming together, bro, through what the like everything that the, the country's been through, like like you know, we got the second largest Indian population on the planet. No. Yeah. South Africa. So India's number one, we're number two. 
of this. Like when you see this and like, do we have the best Indian food in the world? Like sure. we have the best Asian food in the world. Like we have such a very broad, like very big. Uh, so you're telling me the biggest population of Indians outside of India is South Africa. Damn. Check, uh, there's a napkin there for you. And I took a zero as well. Cause I know, and napkins are there. Rude. Mm. I would correct you in case you don't want to have uh, stood off. Interesting. Cause you know, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of uh, cabin crew, right? There's a little cabin crew here in Dubai. That's the biggest business here, Emirates. And um, and uh, they all say, man, when I go to South Africa, the food there. It's the best. They're just like. Oh, it's the cheapest. And they're it's absolutely them. cheap. Very cheap. Very, very, very cheap, bro. There, if you like. If you anywhere like if you ten thousand dollars a month, like you're balling in that country, bro. Really, bro. Like you are ten thousand dollars a month, like you're sweet, bro. So you're balling, balling over there. No, then, then you're like in another. Yeah, but that's what humbles me too. Like I think that I am, and then I go to Dubai, and I'm like, hey, whoa, like. Have you seen the prices? On a small dog, dog. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're still, a, you're getting there. Yeah. For your age, you're there. You're definitely. Yeah, yeah. For your age. I must say, like, for someone in their 20, like, I think I'm one of the top definitely in SA, like, when it comes to that. But when you come to, here, yeah, I'm uh, humble to you. I do, yeah, I definitely, especially South age. Africa, I definitely think, uh, you know. But then I come to the world, I'm like, whoa. You're actually not, bro. Mm. And it's good, because then I'm like, oh, gross. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to ever be bored. I don't want to ever feel like, I don't actually want, like, you want to, you never want to get to a point where you actually think you've accomplished everything. Like, you always want to think that there's more. There's more. Strive for something else. Exactly. There's, um, otherwise it's a very boring life if you've got nothing to chase, bro. Like, and also men need to chase something. Mm. Men are designed to leave the house and conquer something mm. every day. Mm. If you don't, you get depressed. Mm. Exactly. And it's like, I get this whole thing about being a man and shit like that, bro. Again, what blew me up was when I showed vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be as much a man, go make the money, do the stuff. Like, I get it. Like, this is what we've been told. This is what you, I get it to a certain extent. But I also feel like men must stop giving us, like, people, they need to, they need to be a lot more vulnerable, bro. I believe, like, people think they, they're stronger when they're not, dude. Like, they need to, like, yeah. Gives a shit, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Some may judge you, but you know what? Some will love you so much because of it. Yeah. So much because of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's um true, very true. Dude, it's like it's a massive thing. That for me is a man. A guy yeah. that can show emotion, a guy that yeah. can show that for me yeah. is a real man. Mm -hmm. That that's uh it's a person that um takes balls. Takes courage to to, to, to drop your walls, to drop your guards. And it's so cool. Because some will judge you, some will not, but the people that you attract because of that, the real people. Did you all see my pants? Like, they're real, bro. Yeah. These are real, yeah, yeah, real yeah. people. Yeah. I, I love me, bro. So, I have warriors, bro, bro. So, let's say, like, at these events, is there, like, a line of people waiting to meet you? Yeah. Um, yeah, there is. They, they were a bit a little bit because I never went yesterday. What? We, so, what? I went to the conference the day before, mm -hmm. just one day, and then I didn't go yesterday. And shame, there were so many people that wanted to meet me on the second day because... I literally had to take selfies for like three hours. Wow. Um, dude, people have come all over. There was literally a guy at our party. He came, he flew all the way from the US for one night because he, he's a surgeon and he has got to go back um, for one night because he's like, Sheldon, I saw something on the show once with the neck. I just want to come check your neck quickly. He's like, you've done so much for me. And he literally took me at the party, took me to the back over there and he just didn't examine for me and this way he was like yeah dude you have a little bit of a leak like this is where your headaches are coming from he literally flew wow to come spend half an hour wow. with me just to help me with my headaches wow bro i was like wow wow dude what a gentleman and he left the next morning and he's back back to the US. wow huh just to just he's to... like you've done so much for me i just wanted to do this for you bro i just wanted to just come through and just like see that you're okay and just Dude, that for me is like, wow, bro, like that's a... Because you're always in front of the screen, you know what I mean? Mm. So, of course. But he saw I was getting headaches and he saw the way I turned on the show. And he's like, I think I know your problem. And he literally flew just for that, bro. Just for that, to see me for one hour. One gentleman. He arrived at like four in the afternoon. He saw me at six. And the next morning, seven o'clock, he was gone. Hmm? Shout out to that guy. Now that I met you, I'm going to try to come to all the ones around the world, like Singapore... Just so I can see you and just be like, what's going on here? Exactly. I want to get more into the crypto space. You got to, so, now I know what you mean by getting more into crypto. Like, you got to, dude. You got to yeah. come and see these things, like, and, um, 
there's no doubt about it. Crypto's got the biggest um, opportunity and range and the biggest interest now. So cool. you have access to so many people now and it will be gone in the next two years. So you got to use it now. What do you mean it's going to be gone in two years? Um, I, I feel... You, you feel we're still... I feel the markets are going to go up over time. But okay. I feel that, again, the big money is going to take over and everyone's going to be flushed out, to be honest. Like, it's going to be owned again. Wow. As much as the stock markets are owned, in my opinion, like, they... It's completely controlled and give you this. Like, I think we got about a year or two left of uh, of real crypto and then wow. it's gone. Um, I really do. I wish it was different. Yeah. And I think maybe that's like, you want to know why meme coins are pumping up? Because that's the only hope we've got left. Wow. Are you investing in meme coins? I have a, I have a couple. Yeah. Have a couple. Have you made money on meme coins? Shaq, we got one more for you. One more? Yeah. Go, Shaq. Go on, Shaq. Everybody loves Shaq. Good food. Good food. Yeah, that's Good for you. Side jump. Okay. Can you do another one? I'll do another one with you if you do another one. Uh, just so, just so. so the way it works, like I don't eat to enjoy. Depends. If I feel just now that I can still, that I still have energy, I can push. Yeah. Food actually slows me down. Yeah, me too. That's so there's, there's many times every day, bro. So like I do the, I don't eat at what, three o'clock every day. So I fast the entire, basically the morning. Oh, yeah. I need a warm water. I need decaf coffee. Now and then I'll smash a coffee. Um, but every day I can perform like that, bro. I can perform when I don't oh. have food. It's so oh. weird. Like, so food's also a bad addiction. Like people do it for the comfort. Like it was never there for comfort, bro. It was no, there to for... stay alive. I mean, okay. we eat food to celebrate. You know what I mean? We eat food to- Yeah, that's good as well. From, from depression, right? Oh. We eat food. Like we, we've got a, such a different relationship with food now where if we hadn't just been nutritional basis, there'd be no obesity, no cancer, nothing like that. Exactly. You know? But we're doing it well, back in the day when you have to hunt your food, bro. Like, we want to eat for three days, bro. Yeah. And then you'll get food again. Like. Yeah, correct. Did you like this? Mmm, I appreciate this nice. Yeah? I mean, there's no real spoiling you with food around here, you know what I mean? Food. We use that as rubbish. Yeah. Um, okay, so. They're really good. When, if you were to be a betting man, Ooh. when is the blow off top this time? Is it going to be December like it always historically has been? This December coming 2024. Mm. No, so the two scenarios, the one will be uh, early, definitely earlier. Earlier or like again later, like it's quite obvious, right? Early, but I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be, you know, if they want to, if they want to end the cycle now at will. You think they're in control now? Yeah, like and what I mean by that is smart money, like whoever the the movers are, right? And there's probably a very small group runs the entire market, right? Like, what well, I'd say moves, they just, they can make the initial move and then they know the old greed will, will run from there, right? Sure. Um, if they want to end this bull market soon, they'll run it again to say, they'll keep the same method. Why? Why would you, why would you, like, change something that's worked? Sure. Because okay. the people have made insane money in crypto and 90% have lost insane amounts of crypto. Why would you change yeah. it? If yeah. it's a money game, why would you change the sequence? Yeah. Run it again. Yeah. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, yeah. rinse, repeat. Do the same yeah. thing. So if it's, if crypto again is a money game and it's only made for money, it will, will have the blow of top to this December again. But if it's really going to start becoming financial money, it's really going to start this whatever, we shouldn't. We should, it should change. It should, it will be different. So that all depends. It all depends if again, is this a money pump or is this the real pump? Is this adoption pump? Is this the, the reality? Otherwise, again, in three years, maybe, maybe it's then. I don't know. Um, but as it stands now, like, yeah, I think, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued myself. I'm intrigued myself and okay. I, I actually don't know. So for me, it's like, I'm ready to, I'm preparing both two, three scenarios for it actually. But it doesn't even matter for you because you trade anyway. So you're in and out, in and out and you will. Yeah, well, at some point I got to think about that long term and like really Cash make out. a decision. You know what I mean? It's, uh, trading's cool, bro. But at the end of the day, it's like, I've done it now. I've put the hours in and probably in the next, I'll probably trade a few times in my life whenever I need to, but this chapter will be gone soon. Like I won't have to do it anymore. Like, and I just want to make sure that I've lived, a, I've left a legacy and I've I love you know, I'm left everything that, but it, it, it was a purpose in my life for a certain period. And that's okay to let go of it at some point. You know what? If I ever need it again, I got data on the charts. I got data. I got experience. Back I on. Always come back. Back on the saddle. But it doesn't. It's not my life. It's not who I am. It's not. Uh, it got me from where I needed to be, and, and it'd actually be very untrue to myself if I had to think that this was just me you now and just my my journey sure. and things like that. It's like we don't know where it, where it goes next, but well, I'm grateful for it. 
I love that you're preparing for the next phase as well, though. So this is a big one. Right? Like you're preparing for the next phase of your life. And then I do this with everything. I always... The thing is, people are so focused on level one, right? Or the... the, the so you want to start gymming, you want to start anything like... In any sort of thing, they're preparing for that initial moment of doing something, right? I don't do that. So what I do is I say, okay, I'm about to start a new chapter. And then I put no time frame on it, okay? And I say, okay, what would be my first two steps in this sort of thing? And what I do is start with step one, and that's dipping your toes into a new place, feel it out, you know, you yeah. got to observe, things like that. Mm -hmm. Then what I start doing is I always prepare for step two. And I don't ask questions about when step one is going to be done. I don't know when it's going to happen. Am I ready for when it happens? Very simple. Am I ready? And this is what made me successful today. I'm not surprised I'm driving a Maserati. And I'm not surprised we're sitting here right now. The reason being is three years ago when I didn't have the money, I already put myself in the mind of, you already are a millionaire. So now what, Sheldon? Now what? Now who are you? Now what do you do? What, yeah. what do you think? And I already turned, before the money hit my account, yeah. I already As they put myself there. So always prepare for the next step. Otherwise, what you've got to understand is each step has different consequences. So what I mean by that is when you're broke, you can't afford stuff, right? You can't do this and it creates stress and it means you've got to work harder so you're not with your family. Okay, cool. Now, step two is you are successful. Now what? Now all your problems, oh, now you got a drinking problem. Now you got this, now you got that. Now the truth starts to come out of these things. So there's going to be problems on every level. Damn. So if you don't start preparing for the level, stop asking when it's going to happen. Stop stop that stuff prepare for when it happens and always prepare the next step that's a massive thing i've learned bro so my next one now is again in my head i'm going to be a motivational talker i'm going to do this i'm going to think dude i'm already building that in my brain so in my 30s i'm going to try acting i'm going to go into acting i'm going to try it okay um then i got the book section of when i'm writing books and there's maybe even a stage if i'm bored and if i feel like it when i'm in my 50s that i'm going to try Maybe I'll attempt being the richest man in the world. Maybe. I'll see how I feel. But I've basically set these things. Why do I want to be an actor? Because I think that there's such beautiful mega minds on this planet. There's so much history. There's so much insane. I would love to put myself in their shoes. So if I could, an actor is there too. You've got to become the character. Correct. So I want to go and love that short period of their life yeah. or whatever that thing. Yeah. So that I could see it through their eyes. Mm. It fascinates me, the minds that we've had on this planet. And that's why I want to go into acting. Because it's like, I get to go live that little life for that certain period. And see what they did and how they thought and what they think. And that fascinates me. Because I've always studied um, people. I've always studied rich people, people that I want to be. Like, Conor McGregor was a massive guy for me. Just because I loved his mind. I just loved that he had balls. I loved what he did. And yeah. I studied the shit out of him. Just the way he reacted and what he did. And end of the day, every person got, got pros and cons. So pros and cons. Cool. So what I did is I took the top 10 people that I love and I took all their pros, I took all their cons and I started building the ideal me. I don't want to be this person. Steve Jobs and them, they did amazing, but they had no family lives and very terrible things. So I said to myself, Sheldon, if you choose to be rich today, you're going to have a family life, bro. Like you're going to do it because look what it did to all these guys. Look how it did this. Look what it took them down. Like, you know what I mean? They, they got addicted to the business, but they never actually, they, they never, they were actually very sad. They were actually very sad yeah. for a long period of time. Yeah. So before I was rich, I was already building who I am when I'm rich. Yeah. Therefore, when I'm here now, dude, I'm not surprised, bro. Like now it's like, it's, it's my normal life. I'm not surprised. And uh, that's why I'm busy preparing for the next one. The next one for me now is being worth a hundred to $500 million now. Who's that Sheldon? That's the Sheldon I'm trying, I'm busy building. I'm busy building. So what do I do? I've seen a couple of guys on this trip that are worth that. And I'm studying them and I'm understanding them because I don't know yet. But now I'm starting to learn where my next step is. And I'm, and I'm not going to ask the question when it happens. I'm going to be ready for when it happens. I'm not going to blow Sheldon up. Because now, the moment you add money into the situation, every problem that you had previously is 10x the size. It's like leverage, right? Yeah. It's like leverage trading. Yeah. If, you, if you've got a drinking problem now, don't get rich. <laughs> you know, because yeah, it's just going to amplify. If you've got uh, any of these problems, like those are the things you've got to fix before it comes because everything's going to be injected. It's going to be influenced and these sort of things. Well, money makes you more of who you are already. Yeah, money shows the truth. Right? Yeah. Where do you think I should take this? Because you asked me, what, what do you want so to this do? This is very nice, bro. Like, I appreciate you, my man. No, this is really nice. This is, uh, you know, you're giving someone 
where they can take their guards down. Mm-hmm. It's nice to go there, eat something. Mm-hmm. It's nice to just like, you got the, a fantastic concept of, you're going to be able to get the true versions of those people, yeah. which a lot of people won't get. Yeah. You know, putting them in a podcast room and having all the cameras around, like... Across the you're gonna, table. You're going to get... It's an um, you remember there's two characters. You'll see when I do a show, like right now, I can sit here and then be, be like, yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to speak about Bitcoin, showing you guys that we just broke and tra- I can go straight into character. Love right? that. You see, but you're going to get... People that do normal podcasts will... Uh, it's like a full... Like they, a- they will get that version. When you sure. do something like this, and like you say, oh, let's have a secret together. Let's do these things. Like, now you're like, you're making me come. Like, now you're going to get Sheldon. And I yeah. think that's the, that's what's going to separate you from a lot of people. Sure. Because you're just that, you're giving them a real place. They don't have to be in character. They can be their, their natural sure. selves at points like that. Because the person you see on camera, the, the difference with me though is because I don't prep, you're going to get the same Sheldon. Like, <laughs> oh, you're going to see Sheldon and this. But if you look <laughs> at other people and a lot of the hosts and a lot of these things like that, they actually like, complete opposite cool. like yeah, they yeah. they so like like Rand. i love him too but yeah but Rand's actually very quiet so on the show he's very oh. cocky and funny and because that's his that's his that's he's really good at it but in person he's actually yeah. to himself oh. does his own thing like he's in his own office every day he's alone that's where he focuses wow we're like on the show he's very yeah very it, much it, that, yeah. that sort of thing yeah. so i think the concept here is that you you're giving that uh that comfortability which i think is amazing you're mm-hmm. giving that and that's where you're going to get the beauty. You're going to get information from people that no one can. And I've learned this in the business. You've got to shut up, right? Like when you go out and stuff, like be careful who you talk to because the moment you share alpha, you know, someone else goes to build your idea. And I've had a lot of my things stolen. Many, many, many things of me that I came up with the idea or I showed the stuff and it's, it's before I even built it, it got out and it was built. Wow. You know what I mean? And these are things that it's very hard to take that in and very hard to accept that. Accept that. It, it pisses you off, oh. right? It really gets you to that certain point. But then you also look at the other side of it and it's like, geez, dude, like it, it, that person's life was changed too. That yeah. person like, like good on you, bro. Like good on you for taking yeah. it and then doing this stuff. It, shame on, like not to, what do they say? It's a, a that was my fault. Yeah. I shared it too early. Yeah. Okay. And someone took it, but they took it and it worked. Yeah. I was right all along. So yes, I made a mistake. I'll get the next one. Don't worry. I'll catch the next wave. At least I knew I was right. Yeah. And that for me is a yeah. big one. So I don't look at the, ne- I look at the sense of what's the lesson, what, what yeah. is it? Because if someone took it from you and it wasn't yours now, remember it's the smallest step. Your step can be so much bigger than it. Like, yeah. and it will be so much. So let them have that one. Yeah. Cause you're the man to say, you know what? Cool. That's I'll cool. take that. I'll, I'll I'll make sure I don't don't burn again. I'll make sure yeah, I don't make yeah. that lesson again. And yeah, because you take it like that, you also be three times the size. Very and, the, and the reason why I'm saying that is we built an initial school for Banter uh, in the beginning, and Banter actually took that school, and uh, they built it into their sort of own. But ideally, mm-hmm. it was our content, original content. Sure. And I was a little bit upset at some point where it was like, ah, oh, guys, like you took it, my whole concept, and these sort of things. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have built Sniper School. And Sniper School is the mm. biggest TA school in the world. So in the initial phase, it was like, oh, sure. But now there's no more normal school. There's only Sniper Sti- School is what the biggest TA the biggest. school in the world. Like, So what you're saying is, okay, fine. You can do that. And then that will give me the motivation to push harder because there's somebody out there doing the same thing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And you've got to trust it. Like it's, uh, so you're creating your own competition. Exactly. To push yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's deep. And you trust it. It is. That's deep. It is. And look how I trusted it and look yeah. where it is today. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, let's go. True. You know what I mean? It's uh, true. so, and it's also, it's, that's why again, your path is lined, like, and it was just the timing that wasn't right. That was, yeah. it. but your concept worked. Yeah. Everything worked. Yeah. It was just the timing. Yeah. So again, just prepare a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah just yeah, keep yeah. preparing, bro, yeah. because yeah. what you're doing is right. It's yeah. really working. Just prepare a bit more. Yeah. yeah. And when you're ready, yeah, life gives yeah. it to you, bro. Like all of a sudden it just comes through the door and you, yeah. you have it. And that's where it like takes over. So um, I never question when. Sure. When or what gets stolen from me or these sort of things. No. Again, it's the preparation of when yeah. you're ready. And the fact that it got stolen from me proved that I wasn't ready. Got yeah. Because rather you let it get stolen when it's small, it gets stolen when it's big. Yeah. Yeah, true. Literally. Um, you, the, the, the pro- producer Fred or Fred, Fred, yeah, has he shown his face or not yet? He's doxed now. Yeah, he's what? Yeah, he's, he's doxed now. We got it. His face has been shown. Doxed now. No, he doxed. Oh, doxed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. we got his. We got his face. Uh, okay. no, his face has been shown. Is he now. No, he's not yet. No, he's okay. back at uh, home. I think he's yeah. moving house or something. Okay. Um, yeah, Fred is the. There's only four of us originals left at Bouncer, so I was number four, okay. number five that walked in. Fred was two. It was Ran. Was Fred. And there was a designer 
Uh, and then I was number four or five in the business. I think it was five. Sure. Somewhere in that sort of phase. Sure. There's only four of us left from the original. Wow. From the original. And what I mean by that is yeah. like the top 10 or like, yeah. you know, yeah. first yeah. three months. Uh, there's only, I think, yeah, three or four of us left of the, the original. Everyone well, abandoned us new. Not new, yeah. but they, yeah. in the last year and a half or two years, they're not, Came on board. they're not our first three months where we yeah. had nothing and we were like in coffee shops and like hustling. Literally hustling with little webcams and that was how you started in a coffee shop. You didn't have the office. No, 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 no. The so coffee shop. came later. No, literally a coffee shop, bro. That, that was how it started with wow. little headsets and a little web mic. Wow. Bro, we were running like 500,000 views a day wow. on little webcams with little shitty computers, like no infrastructure, no team, yeah. no producers, no nothing, bro. Yeah. We had one designer, we had one camera yeah. each, and that was it, bro. Uh, we had the very bare minimal. And that taught me a lot. And it's that now I have so many producers, I have so many of this, and what's crazy is I was bigger then than what I am now. Yeah. Okay, my leg's still coming. Remember, I'm preparing. Yeah. I'm not asking when. I'm preparing for the next. I know the next one I'll blow up even bigger, but yeah. it just showed how I had 90% less than, yeah. but I was bigger than what I am now yeah. and that sort of thing. And it was, and then I had nothing. I had a webcam. I didn't even have a team. didn't yeah. have like anything. Yeah. Where now I have everything else. So it just shows you like you don't yeah. need the shop with what the most beautiful sword in the world to no. To, uh, to make it happen. And that's where I like guys like I show speed and yeah. because they're so simple and raw, yeah. dude, they don't have massive setups. Like they got yeah. so famous yeah. off of simple tools. Yeah. I mean, I, I was with uh, Ivan on tech's uh, business partner last night. I uh, will. Yeah. yeah. Ivan on tech doesn't come. He doesn't come out of his studio. Apparently he's like, oh, he never comes out. Mm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, it's just, just I've a... spoken to Ivan on, on Twitter and stuff before. Yeah. Cause he was one of the first guys that I obviously saw in the beginning when I was getting yeah. into crypto. Uh, what, what the fuck's going on with that guy, that bit, bit boy? Bit boy. What happened to him? Has, has he gone off the? Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Yeah, yeah, he has gone a little bit off the off the radar. Because um, of everything, like the mess. So him as well. Like if you go look look at his charts, like he just he also grew too quick. Sure. He didn't show. Yeah. And uh, the it problem is, he became. Out. So you gotta look at yourself. Are you a Bitcoin or are you a meme coin? It's very mm. simple. Doesn't mean a meme coin can still be worth billions of dollars. Mm. Problem is, a meme coin is volatile. So you got to rate yourself here. Are you Bitcoin over time or are you, are you a meme coin? And the thing is with him is when his highs go, he grows very quickly. He does well, but he tanks really hard. He was the biggest. He was. Wasn't he? And he tanks and he look how his shit got taken from him. And like, and now he's got it back. Now he's got his name back and he's got these things, but he's not anywhere near he was previously. Well, who's the biggest now? Are you guys? Yeah, we by far the, you, the we, we don't have the biggest subs. We by far the, the fastest. Remember, these guys got about four years on us. They got like uh, two, three cycles cool. before us when they started content. Who's so shipping everything? But in about, I would say in about a year, no engagement. Like we have the highest sub to view ratio. We have the highest live shows. Wow. Watching live. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, we definitely top three or to top five of flies wise, but growth community wise, we're number one. Cool. If you go speak to all of our exchanges, we're number one, number one, yeah. number one, yeah. number one, by far. Of course. We, there's not even a single station out there yeah. that has, you know why? Because we can have a host walk in tomorrow. If I see talents on the street, right? And I see this guy can really be something. I can have him on the show, sponsored, have a school course and have a, have a, a, a paid product built for him wow. in four weeks and he can run. Wow. And he's already making a killing. Wow. That's how quick we can build hosts though. Wow. We are, we are stationed. We're not a, we're not a person. Damn. We are, we, we, America's got talent. That's Damn. what we are. And look at America, that's why those those yeah. will always yeah. rive and they won't stop because so you've you got fresh like talent. That. Yeah. But the problem is when you got the talent, how do you book them? How do you get them? How do you build them? Boom. So mm. that's the sequence you've got to figure out is the, mm. the duplicating of them. Um, that's the big, big thing. So we are stationed. That's why we will be the biggest by... F like the other guys are amazing, but they, it's all built over their name. Mm. It's, it's, they don't have... We are stationed. We can have... You know what? Like we started with one YouTube that's got a big. Now we have Banter Plus. Yeah. Then we've got In The Game. We've got more coming now. Eventually, we'll have 30 YouTube channels. We'll have 400 hosts. Wow. 400 schools. 400 products. Dude, it's infinite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We're going to own like the, the the media of crypto. Well, I know. You already that do. Entire. We already do. You but, already do. But we've only just like we've only just passed level one right yeah yeah. yeah. i believe cool. we've only just passed level yeah, one yeah. now the steps are yeah but you already do to get smaller you already own like the biggest it's the biggest crypto you got the two ba so rand's definitely the biggest fundamentalist yeah like they got guys that are very and you're all the biggest technical now me and me and carl both of us are, are the both ta the biggest yeah um we're busy building hustle for the gaming yeah Obviously, he's got Elio and Alex Becker to, to, to fight. So he's got a lot of competition to, sure. to step up in his game. But he's going. He's incredible. 
Um, and every other industry, like now we, we, we're gonna, we have the best meme coin guys though. Wow. Now we've got meme coin hosts. Wow. Um, then we had, uh, now we, and we've got a beginner's host as well. Yeah. Which is what's a MetaMask wallet? What's this? What's mm -hmm. that? We have a host for that now. Boom. We've got the number one there. Like we're going to literally have the number one. Yeah. What about having the Superman? Do you remember him? I think so. Was yeah. The first people I think he was on. A lot of people, again, dude, like a lot of people probably made what they needed out of crypto and they probably yeah. moved on to the life. happy. Like, my biggest advice to people in crypto is use crypto. Yeah. Use it. Like, you, oh, I want to be someone in the space. I want to be invested. Like, yeah. make your money first yeah. and then decide. Yeah. Like, Fine. don't don't fall in love. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to hold everything. You're going to go through bear market. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Like, stop exactly. it. Like, you know, early phase now, make the money. Yeah. Yeah. When you have the money, you can go recess. Remember, yeah. go sideways, go yeah. chill a little bit, and then make your decision. Yeah. Exactly. Am I going up anymore or are we going to? Kill this coin. Got it. That's the that makes sense. That's the sense for man. I feel like I, I really need to be more prepared next time for the crypto week because I didn't get invited to any. Last night was the first event I went to for crypto. Oh really? Did you have to come to like? I know. Uh, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna all the, the the right party the rights. I know. But, um, I mean, I I like I feel like I'm the loser kid that hasn't been invited to the party. I'm like, how do I get an invite to this? And I'm just mm. been at home and just looking at it, going, fuck. Last night was the first one I ended up going Which to. Which one did you go to? The Valar one. Okay. My friend's the that CMO. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I went to that one. Uh, but look, next time, chuck it in the corner, yeah. But next time, obviously, I'm, I, I go, I go use my boy now. So no, 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 no. no it's, dude, and you just tell me, like, if you want to keep pushing this, like, dude, I'll, I'll get you. I'll look at you and I'll be like, this guy, dude. Really? This guy. Like, I, I can see, I can see the real ones. Like, what's going to separate you two is, is just your, your choice of clientele. Like, very important. Mm. That's what you got to focus on. You mm -hmm. got the setup. I think you got the best setup. Thank you. You got the, the best uh, comfortable. You're going to get a lot out of them. It's about who you're choosing though. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be. So with Banter, we always thought, especially new hosts. So we try to get hosts that had followings already, right? Sure. We try to um, get work? guys that had, no. who, who's their biggest still? Who's the, the guy that, one? who's their biggest still? You. Ram. The guy that had nothing. Yeah, okay. So at the end of the day, we, we try to chase, and we got a couple of guys that had followings, they already had stuff, and we try to make them hosts. They slowly get fl flushed out, okay? Mm, but wow. the guys, no, 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 I'm not saying all of them. There's some of them in that sort of sense, but you got to look for the fresh talents. You got to get mm. some of the big names when you can, because that's great. It's great yeah. for your, your resume, but you got to find the, the gems, dude. Mm. The gems. I was one of those gems. I was nothing three years ago, dude. I was to the point of, and, you know, Rand can forever say, and Banzer can forever say, we were part of Sniper. We were yeah. part of, of what, what, what made him born. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I see the right guy, I'll look at you and I'll be like, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you listen. You know what I mean? Like, if, this if, is the guy you needed. Like, if, if there's anybody that it. comes through you, you message me on, hey, podcast with this guy, I don't even need to trust you, bro. I'll always say yes. Because and, what you got just special. You just need you. the rights. You need to, it's got to have a... Um, it's got a meaning behind it. Yeah. You know, did, did you start this because you're bored or did you start it because you want to help people? Or like, did you want to yeah. like share a message? Like, what? why did you create this? What is it? Like, what? just bored, hobby, business? I, well, or like, do you want to make impact? Like, what is it? You know what I mean? Like, that's the that's the question you got to just answer. I don't know if you got it or just think on it. It's, it's more fun helping. Exactly. If you look at the podcast at the beginning, I, I, there's, there's, a, there's a trailer real or, or there's like a beginning. It says, wherever you are in your life, uh, uh, whether spiritually, financially, or mentally, I hope you're on your way because the podcast called On My Way because we're driving. Beautiful. So, so we bring Perfect. in people that help people for mental health, for fina finances, uh, things like that. It's just, it's also for helping. Mm. That's all it is, you know, mm. but also helping me, mm. helping me understand, learn more, pick brains, blah, blah, blah. and then the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests get. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So that's, that's what exactly. it's all about, man. It's all exactly. about helping and giving back, to be honest with you, because... What's the point of life if you're not going to do it? Yeah, dude. And you know what? Like, and, and that's great, bro. And you got to get rich guests. What I mean by rich is when you ask me the question of like, are you going to be worth this much? Or, you know, how rich are you? You want to know how rich I am? I got my mom next to me every day. I got my brother next to me. Every day. That's how rich I am, yeah. bro. No, no money, bro. Like what? Money. Like my little, like. You haven't really. So you, so here it's just been all work for you then. It's just like, like go, yeah, go, you know, go to this event, go to that event. Show face, this and that. Yeah, yeah so the main goal that I'm... You're like a celebrity. Yeah, but... It'll, it'll all not, all all thing, so the only thing that's... Like, the only events that I'm going to, it's just so that the people that I want to go say thank you to. Like, the people that I just oh. want to represent, and, like, they were there for me, yeah. so I'm going to be there for them. So, like yeah. you said there, go to Coin W, like, no problem, dude. Yeah. I'll go to them because, end of the day, they put uh, 
food on the table for my family too. You yeah. know, they support me, they push me, they believe so in me. For them. And I've done well, so yeah. I will no problem. If you had to say again, there's a bunch of people partying on the yacht party, or you go to Coin W, I'm going to Coin W. Because yeah. they were the ones that were there and, and believed for me in the beginning. So yeah. uh, the main thing I'm doing here is literally just to go and uh, um, give love to those who've given love and be yeah. where I need to be. The other side of it, though, is I've been a little bit bored lately. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I was losing my, not losing my fire, but my, my, my flame was starting to, to, to smallen. Yeah. So I came onto this trip to, to get inspired again and to like, to start my next chapter. So that's why, again, I'm not wasting my time in club, wasting my time doing stuff. Like I'm trying to listen to the messages. I'm trying yeah. to take in what, where's life guiding me next. Yeah. And it's weird how we're doing this now. It made yeah. me feel like shit show. like, maybe go back to your personal channel. Imagine, you know, put a video up again. Yeah. It's been like a year since you put up a video. Like, Why haven't you, is it fear? Because when they say if you're afraid of something, you run to it. No, so it, it's not fear. So I had to make a decision because end of the day, it wasn't, I was getting to a point where I was starting to burn out a lot because, so what I did was, there's a few things that I started. I started, uh, uh, obviously, banter shows, then it was school, then it was sniper club. Then what I started was the personal channel, the motivational channel. Yeah. Then what I started was a thing called the chosen ones, yeah. which I took my my friends from school. Yeah. And uh, we made this group and uh, we got them to travel the world. Uh, not travel the, travel the country and to play games. And I tried to create a channel that would change my friends' lives and give them a journey. So we, I have studios for them and I have cameramen for them. and. So I started running and trying to do all of this at once and I was starting to burn. And what did they say? Like rather, you know, less, less things because what I'm doing now is I'm giving 10% of mm -hmm. myself in each one. So I said, you know what, let's finish, let's finish the chapter then in crypto. Like, let's go for it. And I don't know when that chapter ends, but it's like, let's dominate this yeah. one. And then I'm going to shift on to the next. So the reason being is because I believe my personal channel is going to be one of the biggest channels in the world by far. And I think it's going to make such good impact that it needs the real, like it needs a happy, non-burnt out me. So if it's not, if I'm not that one now and it's adding stress now, like I'd rather wait for it then for the next chapter. And again, I'm not going to ask the question of when, I'm just going to prepare for it then. I'm just going to prepare, yeah. you know, what I'm going to do when it basically basically yeah. happens. So that one, I love bands with all my heart, I yeah. love crypto, but that channel is the real potential. That's like, the, the, that's that's the, the real Sheldon. Exactly. That's the real Sheldon. Exactly. That's why. Exactly. Again, fans have seen and the world has seen yeah. percent of Sheldon. Yeah. That one's going to unlock the yeah. rest. Yeah. That's the big yeah. one. Sheldon? Thank you, my bro. I appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, Thank great you. friend. Thank eh? you so much. Thank you, dude. Thank and uh, well done on this, bro. Thank you, my keep brother. Keep doing what you appreciate do. You. Keep bringing on uh, Thank you. amazing people and yeah. uh, keep going, bro. Come back anytime, honestly. And if there's any of your friends that want to come on, you just let me know. And then, like, they'll be on like that. So. So, so, so how do we do this? Like, let's say you come to Singapore. Like, are you going to set this up as well there? So easy. Look okay. how easy the cameras are, the Fantastic. pillows, everything. Okay, cool. Right, well, I just got to risk. Now you're gonna come follow me, but I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you where you need to be. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm coming to Singapore. I know. For token twenty. Twenty point nine. Yep. You're so coming. I'll, why don't you just take these and I rent a car there? That's easy. But this is just suction car. No, it's not hard. Exactly. Yeah. Bro. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah but we should do it every location. Every so location. Exactly. Let's yeah. do one every. And then what's nice yeah. about that is you see the evolution. You see yeah. where where we both at next time. Yeah. What's happened? Yeah. And, where we at? And, and people get inspired for that shit. And we're in a different world. We're, we're in a different country. Different country. Right? Yeah. So we're we're in Netherlands. The market will be yeah. different. Yeah. Everything will be the oh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Everything will be mad. And it will make you enjoy it. Yeah. I even got this little alarm like me. Yeah, I, I, I do, bro. I got like that Seth Rogen laugh. Seth Rogen, he's like... <laughs> All right. Brother. That was uh, Sheldon the Sniper. Give him a little Sniper. Give him a little, give him a little Sniper. Yeah, yeah. There you go.